you know, I know how to beat you. I can, I'm going to show it here today. I can beat you as my characters um, in high level, under yep. pressure. And uh, that's what we're working with now. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's, um, it's going to be cool. I'm going to pick. Yeah, I know, right? He's got characters. Oh, oh Kazumi. Kazumi. Wow. It really looks like he's uh, he's getting more used to Kazumi as... Over Katarina. As his, yeah, as yeah. his main, main character, yeah. especially in tournament. And yeah. actually, did you see what stage we got? We got the oh, Infinite I, I Azure. Oh. And I think this is a really good stage for Asim. Yeah, it's really good, yeah. Akuma is hell on wall stages, mm. especially on these small stages where you, yeah. can, where you can't really backdash out of the down three Yeah, pressure. you have to take all the mix-ups. You have to take yeah. the mix-ups. And I don't think Super Akuma is going to like that. Knowing what's on the line for him, well, this is we'll a really see. important match. We'll see. I mean, we might see. A, we're going to see a stage change anyway after this first game. So he's not locked in here for the whole set. Yeah. All right, here we go. Round one. Tiger versus Projectile. Did you see that? They cancelled wow. out. Wow. This is, we're playing Street Fighter now. Tiger yeah. versus Akuma. Looks like it. That's a buff to Kazumi. Does more damage now. The down one two. The forward four as an anti-air. They're very mm. well used. Didn't see that before. Interesting, interesting. Didn't go for the guaranteed stuff there. Had him in the back, but didn't really go for the one plus two. Would have been yeah. guaranteed and could oh, have wow. closed out the round. Oh, really smart stuff there. Power crush to close the round versus Super Akuma. Good start to the game. And Akuma with meter now. Six. And that's down two, guaranteed. And throws the tiger at him. I got projectiles too. Yeah. Not only you. <laughs> Good throw right there. One, two. Alright. And working really well. Oh! Super Akuma back in this one. That's it. I'm gonna take it here. Yeah, that is it. Ties it up. One, one. That's what I mean about Super Akuma. You gotta be so sharp. If you do one little mistake, yes. he's gonna he's gonna make you pay for it. Yeah, he's gonna take so the true. round. Oh wow! And down for to Electric taking a combo here, getting hit. Oh, down for to Electric. That's a sweep, but it's blocked. Oh, nice stuff there from Kazumi. But wait a second, Demon Fist throw says no, no thank you. Super Akuma doesn't want any of that. Another Demon Fist gets good on the kick now into a combo. Could have got a bit more, maybe. Nice low parry there from Asim, on point here. Gets the screw. One more mix up, what's gonna Wake happen? Wake up Demon Flip, and he gets him. Oh, oh wait! No, Whoa, it's not over yet. It is not over yet. Asim, oh! Asim, oh my goodness. That could have changed everything if that didn't work. Adds a jab float out of the demon flip. Gets a mini combo. Wow. <coughs> and Super Akuma has done a really good job of turning this game around. Side off on the back foot, but he's poking his way to victory here. Making some space. Ooh. Okay, now Aston trying to get back in here. He wants to regain that advantage he had in the early going. While standing four. Looking for the counter here. Nice punish on the sweep. Ready. Big punish there. Now Asim with a huge life Oh lead. no! And As Super Akuma it. just wakes up, dash in, sweep into Tatsu, into the combo. Sweet fireball, excuse me. Maximize on that. Oh, jumps back with the air fireball. Super Akuma takes the first game. What a crazy turnaround from Super Akuma. That I was really that Asim, nice. Asim, Asim was going to have him. Yeah. Situations. I, I was very certain that he's going to take the round, but then... Uh, Super Akuma with the answer, mm. immediate comeback, pressures him, and it's one it's one moment that Super Akuma needs. The down three into the Tatsu, into the and immediately gets back the life. It's that so, so true. I mean, you know, like, Asim had such a brilliant start to that game, but I don't know. Well, the momentum just all shifted from the second round, and uh, Super Akuma is very good at keeping the advantage once you give it to him. And now he's at the wall stage. Super Akuma definitely is going to like this one. Asim, though, not out of that. He needs to recomposure himself, he yeah. needs to get back into the game, oh, he needs yeah. to forget about yeah. what happened. Yeah, totally. He needs to forget that, move on here and think about what works well for him and stick to that and try and get more of that started in the second game. Super Akuma now, looking really good though so far. <laughs> Throws the tiger out. Oh, yes, the wow. setting too. Oh, man. 
he is just getting all the right reads right now at that mid range. One, one, two. Oh, yes. Not just a flip up. Nice. Gets the low. Oh! At least it was with punish. And, and, and he's, he's doing what he needs to do. Yeah. He needs to punish more. He needs to rush down and play a slightly more aggressive game against Super Akuma. And he worked. He's made that work really well that round. He needs to keep that up though. Nice down three and the sidestep was perfect. Smart Didn't really commit there. to it. And the teleport out of it. That was very good from Super Akuma. really man. nice. And Asin is really good at constantly closing that demon flip pressure mm. from Super Akuma. Just doing a quick jab to get out of that. Get off me. Oh! kick from Asin now. It's a very, very important round. Oh man, Super Akuma. Solid. So close between both of these guys. That was painful, man. Yeah. Minus 14. Nice punish with the 1-1-2 one, one, there. Yeah, I mean, that's the only move he's really been getting good mileage of. Everything else is not really working out right now, yeah. you know? And they're trying to they're feeling each other out and they're trying to find openings here. Yes, counter hit four. Very important for him. He wants this run, he wants to get the second game now. Demon flip kick. Super Akuma so aggressive on offense, just piling on the pressure with demon flip mix-ups left, right, and center. Kazumi had to had to backdash there and get some space. But he's back in trouble now. He finds himself at the other wall. Super Akuma pressuring now. Another mix-up. Oh no! And Super Akuma didn't do anything, so smart. Really, really smart there for Super Akuma to just not do anything and let Kazumi, and let Asim kill himself. Yeah. I think Asim was really afraid of the down three pressure. He didn't want to take the mix-up. Yeah, yeah, he didn't he want to take see. the mix-up, just he did looked, the rage hard. Yeah, in his movement, he looked really uncomfortable yeah. and Super Akuma was aware of it. Absolutely. And now, this is match point for Super Akuma. Yes. He can move on to top four in winners if he takes this round. Oh, wow. What a punish. Ten frame in So three. ready. So, and what a wall carry right you see that? Oh, really nice. Oh my goodness, this is destruction right now. To the other wall. Whoa! Wow, that was Look at one. that. Wow. What a crazy showing from Super Akuma after... Really being pressured by Asim, I felt like Asim really had it and then he somehow just gave it away each round. Yeah, I was going to say that, it was more like Asim just made mistakes. Yeah. Asim just gave him opportunities, you know. It, it wasn't always that Super Akuma pushed him into situations where he had to. Asim just felt vulnerable, you know, just threw things out yeah. there, you know. Yeah, and yeah. I think that's what got him killed in the end. I actually, I actually, was, I was about to say, because Asim always had the live lead. They didn't really have to commit and yeah. going in and he yeah. was always eating the, that down three yeah. or that launcher yeah. for no reason and look at super akuma with his execution mm. and he literally was able to always take like at least 60 percent of yeah. his life bar with yeah. just that one combo yeah. so it's so important to not run into stuff if yeah. you have that if you had that lightly you don't need yeah. to come in he needs to do a move it's, not you. it's true i mean it's all about that mental awareness and composure within, yeah. within yourself you know and as him definitely like he just wasn't relaxed at all in that set after the first round got dragged away from after the first game sorry got dragged away from him he just didn't know how to get it back yeah, yeah that was crazy that was really unfortunate for Asim, but super well played by Super Akuma. He just shows that if you do a mistake, I'm ready for the punishment. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he had some really ready. amazing whiff punishes yeah. there as well. And yeah, like you said, he looks super prepared for everything. Um, that was winner's bracket. Yeah. So Asim's not out. You know, he does have Definitely. another chance in losers yeah. bracket. And he's going to be wanting to use that and win this. Yeah. So um, do I see, is that Daniel Mardo? That's Daniel Mardo oh, versus in the way. Mitra yeah. Storm. Yes. yes. That's an Italy matchup. Wow. Jin versus Nina. Home ground battles here yeah. in Berlin. How do you feel about this one? Um, I mean, Daniel Mardo has been training a lot with Tishman recently, mm -hmm. and he said he's very confident, you know. Um, he, he's happy about Jin's, obviously, buffs in season two. Yeah. And um, yeah, he's feeling confident. So I th I, I, from what I heard, 
I think he. I think we're looking at a Daniel Mali victory. I, I mean, it's it's insane that this guy just started with Tekken Seven and yeah. did so well in these big tournaments. But these sometimes, major tournaments. yeah, no, it's totally true. Uh, sometimes though, it works well if you don't have a platform that you're used to. You know, you don't have old slow charts from old games that yeah. affect the way you approach the new game. Yeah. If you're fresh to Tekken Seven, you're coming in with that, you know, empty mind, you yeah. know, completely white sheet of paper, and you're, you're not conditioned. You know, you don't have old muscle memory that does That's things true. that don't work anymore. So he's coming in fresh, and he's able to apply himself to this new game. Yeah. So maybe. That's working out in his favor. So I think they just did a coin flip. They're gonna swap sides. For the sides. Right okay. Yeah. So I, yeah. So Mado won the coin flip. From what it's not really sure. we're not sure yet. So we're looking at um, you know side switching right now, and um, then we're gonna get underway with this top eight match. This tournament has been crazy, Ryan. It's been nuts. It's been absolutely it's been insane. Nuts. It's been really exciting. Just upsets coming out of the woodwork all over the place. And it's made for a really interesting spectacle because I did not expect Tishmon to not be here at this point. You know, out I know, of the right? tournament. Um, yeah. Lost it, to Artek and lost to Rukang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dime back also out of the tournament. Yeah, yeah. Although he had a very strong showing, he's out of the tournament. And, and think of it, we were thinking that he, um, Tishimon, Dimeback, and Sefi are like candidates for yeah, top three. All out. They're all out. <laughs> it's so crazy. Like yeah. you, can, you can never predict what's gonna happen in EU. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. So it's just one of those things we have to um, look forward to because it's like the excitement of the tournament. We don't know what's gonna happen. And this now invites a new champion to Absolutely. come into this and represent themselves on the stage. Yeah. You know? And this is a great stage to just you know, shine on. This is the world <coughs> class stage. Of course. Like world yeah. Tour. Oh yeah, yeah. This is this is where you do it. Forget all that online ranking yeah, up exactly. stuff. Exactly. This is where you get. This known. is where you do it. Yeah. yeah. This is where people start recognizing you. Yeah. This start. is where you make a name for yourself and you know create history moving moments. Yeah. 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 Totally. Absolutely. So we're still waiting for them. Um, yeah. I'm not sure what's going on. They're looking yeah. at phones now. I think Daniel Mado. Daniel Mado is digging into his bag. He's looking for something. Maybe it's um, the first pad. Some, oh yeah, yeah. Little he's little found it now. Italy versus Italy. Italy, of course, have been one of the driving, biggest driving communities of Tekken in Europe. Yep. You know, they have been dedicated from the very, very beginning of international Tekken. You know, Since like I, Tech One, right? Tekken, Tekken Three, Tekken Three, Tekken even. Three, and then Tag One, even, even, you know, in a more dominant fashion. Yep. Um, and they have always been very, very strong. They've had a lot of players that use multiple characters, very strong Mishima outlet as well. So yeah, these guys are no stranger to stage matches, you know, being in top eight, etc. Yeah. And uh, it's interesting because as a community, they carry a lot of the Tekken, European Tekken heritage with them. Yeah. It's great to see. And the crazy thing about that is that new people, uh, new people keep coming and evolving. Yes, it's I like, mean, it doesn't really matter which game it is. Mm. Depending on which game it is, you will always see new players rising up yeah, from Middle East. Yeah, and so I really crazy. enjoy that. I mean, Daniel Maru is the best example. Coming from Tekken 7, newcomer, he's a newbie, so to speak, but he's so good already. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, you know, when you've got the background of, you know, a lot of history where you're from, it's easy to grow from those players that have come before you because Absolutely. you then see, oh, wow, yeah. you know, this is what it's about. But also having online allows people to get involved. It's like, well, I can play this game online. I'm doing well online. Maybe I'll go to an offline event. And then Absolutely. you go there and you do well and you start learning. And the blessing of a person like Tishmon moving to their country is a really big help for the community. Yeah, I, I totally agree. So I think <laughs> Tishimon moving to Italy was one of the greatest things that could have happened to the whole scene yes. because they got such a strong competitor that they can learn from. They, I mean, they can even learn the Raven matchup in a way that they probably haven't before. Yes. And um, the mind games and the, the overall um, knowledge that Tishimon has, and he gave it, he gave it to the others. Yeah. He shared it with all yeah. the Italian players. Exactly. I think exactly. it helped them. Oh yeah, definitely, no doubt about that. Finally, in the character select, I wanna, I wonder who they're gonna pick. Well, Jin and Nina. I'm 99% sure. Mm. Anna? <coughs> Anna. <coughs> Could also be interesting. So yeah, just to answer some questions in the chat, Kate and Trench um, is not here at this tournament this weekend. Um, so yeah, uh, I know a lot of players, a lot of players, and a lot of people were expecting to see him, but he was not able to make it out to this tournament. So yeah, we are we are Kane and Trenchless here at Berlin Second Clash. So yeah, we're going in. All right, so characters are locked in. Zhao Yu. Oh, he's playing Zhao Yu. Oh, yeah, he's okay. been playing Nina and Ling in tag yeah. two as yeah. a team, and maybe it feels like he can't break him down with Nina, so he's mm. gonna he's going for that Ling pick. Interesting, interesting. And they shake hands now. Yes, they are brothers in arms indeed. And they're going to be moving into this one. Top eight match right here. Winners, semi finals for a spot in winners' finals. And they're in the same team as well. Oh, yes, of HG. course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're yeah, teammates. Yeah. yeah. Team kill incoming. Yeah. Round one. Fight. Uh, all right. 
right, there we go. Yes, let's get into this one. And yeah, just feeding each other out in the early in the early round. And there's a launch off the counter hit. And Jin, just great wall carry and damage, man. So much damage Such a in this beast. game. Did you see that damage? That was like oh, 60%. Man. And yeah, the back 2-1 does whiff. Have you seen? Like, there's so many times where the 1 will whiff randomly, right? Yeah. But there's a clean finish for Daniel Mado first round here. The and cleanest of finishes. So. Oh, wow. I step into low parry. And he exactly this, knew what was going to happen. This is, the, this is that specific knowledge when players have played each other inside and out. They know every little intricacy that they like to do. I mean, an early low getting carried like that is just an example. Yeah, that was deep mind games going down there. Nothing we could have even predicted. He just knew he was going to yeah, go for that low, yeah. knowing that. But Mitra Storm has turned it all around here. Oh, yes, down forward one. One one here. Very evasive as well. Sort mm. of has some high crush in it. And yeah. I mean, it's a very good go-to mid at the end of a round, right? Absolutely. You know, it's, what, it's what you want to win with. Yeah. And the double health sweep really wants to condition oh, him man. to duck now. Ooh, Andre. pressed the button. I don't know what he pressed. Got caught there. Counter hit. Back 2-1. Stops him. Got to be careful of Phoenix, so you don't want to get caught. Wait a second. Down back four. But this is what I talked about. He's very confident, you know. Even Tishmon said that sometimes they go completely even. He knows every single thing that I do. Yeah. I can't get away with anything versus Daniel Mado. And that is working every single time. What's going on? Why is in a row now, right? He's got a read on him there. Yeah. Oh, a nice hop kick out of Phoenix. Stop that nonsense, says Daniel Mado. Nice duck ready, ready support. for the lows. Nice hot kick there. Mitra Storm with the launch. He's yep. not dead yet. It's definitely not over yet. Oh, nice. Really, really interesting game so far. Nice stuff there from Storm. Two rounds apiece. And going for the low. Easy stuff here. And the whiff punish yep. by Mitra Storm. Should take it to the wall, most likely. Mm -hmm. Almost there. Got some pressure now against the wall. Oh no! Didn't want that. And from Daniel Nato with the combo. Yes. Good punish on the hot kick. Oh, and he Same baked situation. him into it. Baked him into whipping. Oh, wait a second. Isn't That's that a bit far away? Yeah. He missed it. He didn't get the dash in after the screw and he's lost out on big damage there, but it might not matter. Oh my goodness, next hit. And Mitra Storm takes the first game and he's going to be really happy about not losing that one because after he lost the Rage Art, that could have gone either way. He got lucky, man. He got lucky. He, got lucky. he didn't dash in deep enough for the Rage Art. And then somehow things went crazy. Yeah, no, I don't even know what happened. Uh, yeah, that was really, really... Yeah, Daniel Mado, you can see the grimace there. He knows he could have stolen that game and that was really big. He's not happy about that. No. You can see that. He's not happy. No. But he needs to recomposure himself because... He's got one more game. Yes. Either continue in losers or go to uh, or move okay. on into winners. Oh, okay. I thought you were gonna be like, yeah, go to losers or go home. Like, well, okay. <laughs> it's kind of savage, man. <laughs> Chill. <laughs> so Mitra Storm takes the first game. Nice comeback there because it was all Daniel in the beginning. He managed to managed to keep it all together and get the win. Second game now. Yes. Oh man. Oh, it's one of the best moves oh, it's by such a savage combo. It's such a savage combo on counter after that move. Yeah, it's for the rage drive, doesn't get it. And Daniel Mado knows that this is not a natural the, combo. Yeah, went for the double low, very risky. Oh, yes, solid jab there. Yeah. Stop flinging her tracks. Daniel Mato with the first round here. And I feel like Mitro Storm is playing different in a way that he's hitting Daniel Mato constantly mm. on counter hit. And we've seen that Daniel Mato knows this matchup and the player really well. He knows well, him so really well. Yeah, he I've knows him really some well. really weird counter hits where he just sort of has the read, exactly. you know? So yeah, there's a lot of personal tech going on. And the fourth four. That Daniel Mato always so threatening with that forward four. 
manages to evade death for that round. And the duck on the down four. Oh wow, nice hop kick there. Knew he was gonna parry. Knew he was so gonna parry. Delayed the hop kick. Out. Yeah. Oh man, he got caught slipping there, and that is going to be it. Match point for Mitra Storm. Look at the turnaround, crazy. Mitra yeah. Storm feeling so comfortable right now. Daniel Mara doesn't really know what to do. This is for a spot in winners finals here. Promotion chance, boy. And fight the four. Keep singing, my side. And Daniel Mardo just doesn't know what to do with him right now. He just can't find the way in. He can't get the opening he wants. He's getting small hits here and there, but nothing matters. While Mitra Strom is getting all the big damage. Big example right now. There we go. And that is it. Man, Daniel so Mardo. Sad. Oh, man. He is really, really unhappy about that one. I was just looking up to him when he got hit by that sidestep hop kick, and he looked really flustered. Yeah, he, he is definitely crushed after that loss. His face... I, 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 imagine, I imagine that when they play casuals, it probably doesn't go down like that. Yep. The way he looked, he didn't look like they, they always play he like always that. He always loses yeah. them like that. Yeah. So I think we're seeing one of those scenarios where, you know, like um, Sefi um, versus, uh, what's the, the law name again? Retox. Yeah, exactly. Um, Sefi normally beats him. Yeah. But today, he lost. Today was the day yeah. where he lost. Yeah, this day where he won. And I think this might be another example of that because the way Daniel Mado's face looked at the end there, you could see he's not used to losing. To him yeah. Like yeah, exactly. But that's what it's like. What we said before, this is where it counts. You know, the big stage where where you're under pressure, where it's about tournament points. You know, you're in a you're in a professional tour, and there's different things on the line. Yeah. And sometimes, even a player that loses all the time can rise to the occasion. You know, they can they can elevate their status when it comes to this degree of pressure, you know. And in my opinion, just, this just shows how good Mitra Storm is, mm. knowing that um, Daniel Mano knows all of his tendencies, and although he, he knows that, he just changes uh, he changes his whole playstyle up yes. and plays entirely different. So to just mix him up entirely, yeah. he couldn't yeah. he didn't know what to do at the yeah, end. Yeah, Mado looked lost towards the end. Yeah, he, 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 he just lost. had no way in. No forward four was mm. hitting on counter yeah. anymore. He couldn't get any big damage. Yeah, the, the I big think boy damage that he was getting at the beginning. Yeah was getting less and less as the set progressed. I think that's one of the key elements that yeah. le led Mitros to the win because yeah. there was a point where he was no he was just really good at evading all yeah, the Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He didn't mind getting hit, but no counter hits, yeah. you know? And yeah. that really helped him. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. So now on, we're going to have Blackbeard versus Riton Rama, the guy we were just uh, Riton Rama, about. yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. Riton Rama, really, really the sick. Killer, right? Yeah, he's playing sick today. Yeah. Um, I actually quite like his style. You know, it's very, it's very uh, patient but explosive in places, yeah. which is how you need to play it. So yeah, very, very interesting stuff. The thing I, I played him, I played, I played this guy countless times. And the thing is, when you want to go in, you eat something, mm. and at the same time, he plays so passive that you don't really know when to attack mm. when not. Because his punishment is on point. Yes. He's good movement. And have you seen his three plus four whip punishment? If you whip once, <coughs> three plus four four. That's Law's new fourteen frame mm. whip yes, punishment. Yes, monster. Yes. You're done for. You can't yeah. work against this guy. Yeah, yeah, you, you, and yeah, exactly. He's, he's on point. It's Chris on point with that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, no, it's really, really interesting to see. So but the thing is, you know, we could argue that Steffi Black wasn't playing that confident yeah, today. Yeah, absolutely. You know, whereas Blackbeard, in comparison, has been playing really confident yeah. today. So this is going to be interesting. Britain Rama, who's got a very good defensive game as well, who can take some offense, who can take the pressure, you know, and rise to the occasion. So I'm not sure what we're going to see here. This is for me. This set is going to come down to who wins the first game. In my opinion, whoever yes. wins the first game will take the set. Yeah, really? Even if it goes to even no, even if it goes to one one, All right. that initial momentum first in the first game will yeah. decide the outcome. I believe. I could be wrong, but let's see. The thing is, Blackbeard is rather known as an aggressive player. I feel mm. like he likes to to do the rushdown style. Yeah. And I don't really know if that works against both Riton and the character that he plays. Law. Right. Because Law is a really explosive character, as you mentioned earlier. And he yeah. really likes to counter hit you with that magic four or the one two three on counter. Yeah. Hit. Yeah. And um. We'll, we're about to see how this is going to play out because Blackbeard will definitely need to adapt at one point to what uh, Dreton likes to do. Yes, he will indeed. He's going to be forced into scenarios he's going to have to know how to deal with. That's going to be a good one. <coughs> Denmark versus Germany. Mm. Here we go. The sole Danish player left oh, in top eight. <laughs> and Seppi cheering for his boy, obviously, and now Seppi, that he's yes, out. In his boy's corner. 
Oh, I think everyone's in Dritton's corner right now. Well, you can hear the crowd getting hyped already. I think he's the last remaining German with, with DBP and losers. Yeah, DBP, DBP is as, in well. as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are the last two remaining Germans yes. in this tournament. Back in the arena, Dritten's favorite stage. <laughs> and here we go, round one. We're going here. Crouch slash three, wasting no time getting in. That was the magic four, I told you about it. And he actually cancelled it, so he yeah. didn't get hit. He would have got hit by that yeah. counting four. Oh my goodness, there's a counter here. That's a counter to, to the wall. He's going to do a lot of damage, right? Yes. He doesn't mess it up. And he doesn't mess it up this time. Finally, back on point here with the combos. Wow. And the homing. Plus frames. And Blackbeard trying to mix him up with the Dritten, percent. Dritten being very, very patient here. Biding his time, waiting for right opportunities. Oh, that's has to be again. That hurts so much. What's going to happen? Oh. Nice sidestep, but didn't commit to it. Didn't, yeah, couldn't get a follow-up afterwards. Yeah. And there's the hot kick. The crowd erupts here. Everyone's super excited right now. No out the first <coughs> round. Great and Rama. Germany, Ger versus Germany on the board. One, two, three. Oh, nice low Harry. parry. Ready for the ting, boy. Ready. Get those cheesy toes out of here, boy. And again, we're seeing missed follow-ups. Ooh, but it might not matter with those. And again. With those follow-ups, it might not matter if you don't get much damage. What is going on? The reads are insane right now. And oh. Three times in a row. Yeah, that is ridiculous, but it didn't matter because he still gets the win and he's playing amazing right now. Top eight losers. Gets the throw. And the ground is hit there. Blackbridge with the life lead now, but Dritton trying to come back. Hit yep. him with a slide. Board one and two straight into the slide there. Oh man, and is he going to get the wall? Oh, he finally gets it, gets it that time. He's been missing that way too often today. And you can hear the crowd erupting, Ryan. I mean, I mean, let, let's be let's be real, yeah. Like he's riding a lot of the crowd momentum as well. Who, that, Absolutely, they're actually like you know getting him pumped up. Blackbeard's taking a lot of pressure now because you know everyone's kind of against him in this game. Um, but there were he played really well. But there are a lot of convenient things that just worked out for him, you know? And I'm not sure if Blackbeard's going to let that happen a second time. I think the biggest issue in this matchup was where Dritton was constantly hitting Blackbeard with those magic fours. Mm. Whenever he tried to go in, he was getting hit with the magic fours. Yes, and this happened yes. so many times. And you don't really need that many in a first two <laughs> It's just a few that can decide whether or not you lose. Yeah, totally, totally. All right, here we go. Second game now. The hypest music on the planet is being played. Nice hop to punish there. Wow. Okay, a, be a better start here from Blackbeard. Uh-oh. Oh, parry, no follow-up. And Blackbeard, really sick. What awareness there. Saw that he hadn't followed up and immediately counter-jabbed him. Blackbeard, first round here. And it looks like Blackbeard has got a slightly more, He's being more a, 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 a slightly more concise understanding of what to do, where the openings are against Dritten. Nice punish there. That's that, and oh, there's the hook wow. there. Yes, came out of nowhere. That's gonna hurt and drops the combo again, right? I don't think he's going for it. I think he's deliberately not following up. I don't know why. He's dead, I think. Dead. Uh oh. That combos with rage. And yes, nice, nice stuff there from Blackbeard. Two rounds on the board. And now Blackbeard looking super comfortable. Leading with two rounds. He's right adapted now. very well so far. Yeah. I'm gonna have to take back what I originally said. <laughs> Crazy, yeah. Oh, nice. Uh oh. And this is dominant from Josie right now. Blackbeard looking savage here. Oh no! Didn't get didn't get quite the wolf follow up he wanted. 
But he's still looking good. So there's another parry, but he couldn't get anything off it. Now back to Reed. Ooh, nice punish. Nice punish. Oh, no. Why did he get caught by that? He didn't expect the second high to come out, and he got caught, and Blackbeard has tied it up 1-1. One, one. One, one. Blackbeard destroyed him the second game. Drit and Rama is under pressure right now. Blackbeard, Blackbeard looking way more comfortable in his chair now. You can see him nodding his head in approval. He understands what needs to be done to get this job done. So what do you think? You said the first one. The yeah, first... you know, but after that dominating game, I don't know, man. That could, it could, it's really anyone's game to call right now. Yeah. Blackbeard looks so strong, look confident. He looks so he much looks very, better in the second game. He looks game. very confident. I think that's a big part of the victory, you know. Yeah. All right, here we go. One, one here. No walls though. BTC 2018 top eight losers. Here <laughs> we go. Dritan Rama versus Blackbeard. Who is going to move forward here? All right. The adaptation from Blackbeard definitely on point right now. Oh, yes, get off me. Oh, nice counter here there from Blackbeard. With conversion as well. Half-life gone. Oh, returns the favor. There's the answer, magic point, there's the combo. Once once it goes to the here, there's the float. There's the float. And down back three this time. And he has changed the situation totally. What? He is going crazy right now. Drops the combo again. No, oh man. Plus seven. Not getting the jump we are finishes. And he says, no parry for you. No parry for you, boy. Eat that knee. But how about this rage drive? Uh oh. Oh, okay. Four more. Blackbeard looking so much more comfortable. Oh, right definitely. Now. He's he's completely revamped his style. Yeah. Yeah. Nice punish on the down forward two there. Tried to whip punish. Didn't commit to it. And Driton with the life lead. 34 seconds left. What is going on here? Driton needs something right now. Yeah. He's not gonna want to go down two rounds to zero. And there's a counter hit. He did not want to get hit by it, and it's not looking good right now. Driton, who started off really well in the first game. Under pressure right now. One, two, three counter hit. Down back yeah. three follow-up. Oh, slight life leap. Oh no. Good punish. Oh! He runs into that. Wow. Into the really good awareness there. Saw that he rolled back and dashed in. It's punished so intense, him as he dashed man. in. Yeah, that was really, really good. Really good read there. What? We crouched those, says Rama. What is going on with the enders, man? I don't man? know. He's not feeling comfortable. Someone, Something's someone wrong. explain this to me. Some, you can't wrong. drop that many of those. Come on. That many? No. He's way. usually so consistent in that. I've really? played so many times. He's consistent in that. I don't, I don't know, know what's, what's going, going on. on. Nerves, maybe? I have no idea. Well, it's tournament, man. It's a different thing. You're not at home. You're not in your comfort zone. Yeah. You yeah. gotta be ready. Fair enough. Here we go. Now, Blackbeard looking strong right now, piling on pressure. But Drit on so, so deadly with those, with those random hop kicks and stuff. You just don't know when it's coming. Oh, crash S3. Good throw break. Get off me, Blackbeard. 18 seconds and look at the life. Uh oh, it's back. It's back. Ooh, Break that this time one. he does get the throw. Oh, the flip kick. Oh, Nix is gonna take it. Yes, the jab. He could have yes. that, I feel like. Blackbeard banging the stage in happiness. Oh my goodness. Oh, while well standing one, two. Good luck there. Blackbeard looking so comfortable, could close this out any moment. Oh my goodness. And there's the cross -up. Dryton Rama throwing it all away here. Too many parries. And that's it. That's going to be it, guys. It's over. That's Blackbeard it. has eliminated Dryton Rama here. Two games to one. Crazy. What a solid adaption from him there. And he really showed how well he can change his gameplay up. Remember how the first match went. And what, and what Atlan did to... But this is what I talked about. In the first game, at the end of that, I was saying that it looked like Dryton hadn't like worked him out. He was getting some convenient punishes. Yeah. You know, things just convenient went his way. What, it wasn't a psychological advantage. And Blackbeard showed exactly how not the case that was. Why, you know, the adaptation afterwards was just flawless. And in that fi final game, when it wasn't about walls, when it was just about straight up fundamentals and Tekken, Blackbeard was definitely the, the, yep. the, the unstoppable force. Yep. Great match. I really love watching that. Get the gap. Gap standing for good ass Tekken. Yeah. Get the gap. Yeah.
Good pass pick. All right. I learned something new. <laughs> so, like we had moves on in the loser side. Yes. It's going to play against the winner of, I believe, um, DBP of uh, DBP. And District G Root Kang. District G Root Kang. Yeah, who eliminated Tishmon earlier today. Tishmon. Who else did he? He, be, he, he put Blackbeard in losers. Blackbeard in yeah. losers. So, yeah, he's had a good tournament so far as well. He's been playing crazy good mm. this tournament. The reads are just nuts, right? Absolutely. I mean, this is going to be a good match. Yeah. Do you think? Um, do you think DBP will go with Bob? Yeah, yeah. I think you, they're going to play, play the mirror. Okay. And I think I think this is going to be really entertaining to watch because mm. I feel like they both play really similar. Yeah. They just like to go ham sometimes. Oh yeah. Do the multiple health sweeps, mix someone up, either half kick or forward forward. Yeah. They, they're not hesitant to do that. You yeah. know. They just like to play this sort of gameplay, and um, yeah. it really comes down to. Who will maintain the nerves? Who will maintain calm mm. in, in this whole set? And, so um, true. Yeah. Thing, yeah. Oh, sorry. No, Please no, no. The thing, is, the thing is, though, um, I, I know for a fact that DBP plays multiple characters. I know that he plays Sh has a really good Shaheen. Yes. I know that if things don't go well for him, he might be able to swap and just take another character and mm. give it another shot. Yeah. Uh, finally, just on Dritten Rama, I think that he has to address the combo issue. You know, that would he still have lost in that way if he hadn't dropped all those combos? And that's just something he's going to have to take to the lab with him, work out what wasn't working on the controller, why he wasn't able to capitalize on the opportunities. But, you know, that's that. So, yeah, moving forward, like you say, DBP definitely looking good as well. And, you know, he's one of those players that you can never count out. I've seen him perform amazing comebacks in tournament as well. So, yeah, I mean, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. But Ru Kang, for me, has been very, very impressive so far this tournament. He's played I, I, so I phenomenally guy, well. Um, just in his decision making, in clutch situations, his um, application of pressure under, in situations where he knows that, for example, he'll, he'll plan like two or three moves ahead. So he'll do a certain move that sets up something that's incoming, where, uh, where, and if it hits, he's already got the game plan ready. Yeah. He knows what you're going to try and do, and he's very good at applying that. And it's been quite impressive watching him lay all that out in matches today. And what, I, what I really like about Luke Rukang is how he got better over the tour so far. Yes. I mean, think of it. He's been... He's been traveling since season one of the Tekken World Tour, and you can really see that this offline competition is constantly helping him. He's yes. constantly getting better. This of is course. his first top eight in a TBT ever, mm. and today is the day where he can absolutely break out and make it on top. I mean, they, I mean, after that Tishman defeat, it's, argu it's arguably no one is wrong that he yeah. potentially can't beat, right? Exactly. So this could be his. I mean, day. he has all the confidence on his yeah. side now. Oh yeah, hundred percent. But I mean, he's up against Ru Kang. Oh, wait. wait. I was about to say, Akuma? Yeah, I think it's just button. I yeah, think it's, it's just button, button check. It's yeah. button, I think. It's just button check, yeah. So, it's the Bob mirror. Please pick that, that swimsuit <laughs> sailor costume, please. <laughs> a fitting stage for such an intense match. So, we've got the Bob mirror. But first off, we got to desync all these pads. Oh, man. You don't want to get no. home button in no. between, right? No. It's going to be crazy. DBP versus this rich G's own Ru Kang. It's going to be good. Let the show go. Round one about to get underway here. I'm going to call it 100%. A bot player is going to win this. <laughs> you are not wrong there, and you'd be a successful man in the betting shop with that one. But it's 1 4 to start the set. Power crush straight away. Is he on the 2P side or is he on the 1P side? It's so hard to tell. I'm legit confused. No, I think DVP is on the 1 player side. Yeah, I think it's right this way. Alright, alright. I have no idea which Bob is which, to be honest. Yeah. It's really neither. hard to tell right now. They started Maybe so quickly. someone in the chat knows. And it's the issue second. if you play a Bob mirror, right? You can't tell which one is who. And the play's so similar. So, so yeah, well. DBP won that round. DBP, yeah, right. won, that DBP round. won that round. DBP won that round. Yeah. So there we go. That's who's who. So he needs to swap. Listen he, to the crowd, He needs man. to swap. No, I just look for the reactions as well. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, he needs to... So we need to swap the name. Yeah. <coughs> Alright. Sorry about that, guys. We're just sorting out the uh, the uh, little little bracket at the top there. He's on the right. DBP's on the two yeah, players. Really, yeah. yeah, well, that's the threat of doing a mirror, man, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you never know who's who. Oh. Oh, right. goes for the flip kick. Doesn't get it. Oh. oh. Yeah, I mean, if there's anybody that knows the danger of that sweep, it's a Bob player as well, right? Obviously. So you're not going to get away with those random house sweeps. And there's a while selling 2-1, really nice. But Ru Kang here with the answer. Taking a chunk. There's a sweep, gets it that time. And the power crush. And oh, my it again. goodness me. 
I've heard that Bob is the world. He's dead. Oh my goodness, is that it? Oh wow. We all right. We oh DBP means business here. And the crowd are going wild. Ru Kang wasn't able to do anything in that game. He's definitely gonna wanna switch it up this time. Man, do you hear the crowd? I I, I love the crowd. Yeah, oh, they, they are they are they are supporting their boy. Crazy. I mean, is DBP the only German player left? Yeah, I think so. Jin Rama out, right? is out. Blackbeard yeah. eliminated. DBP is the only one. Yeah. So that's why they are He's really. He's German hope. That's that why they are really cheering on yeah. DBP right now. So we're going to the Hammerhead. What do you think about the stage? You like it? Yeah, I do. I love it. I love the music. I think it's really fun. Um, I mean, come on, man. This is I music, dude. This is like this could be a Soul Calibur track, right? Yeah. You know, Absolutely. I mean, it's just epic. It's hype. All right, here we go. I think this track needs to be in Soul Calibur. It's that hype. <laughs> this should be in. They should put this in. All right, here we go. So, Ru Kang now. He's got a point to prove here. Not only, not only does he want to show he's the best Bob, but he wants to win the tournament. He needs to. For the Germans. On his home turf, obviously. Went under Ooh, that. Oh, wow. What is going on here? This is just pandemonium right now. DBP. Uh-oh. Oh, goes for the power. Cr uh, sorry, goes for the rage art, uh, rage drive. Excuse me. Four, four, two, but it's blocked. Oh, went that for another one. Oh man. And the down back three. Yeah. Back around. Oh. Four rounds straight so far. On dear, Kang. oh dear, oh dear. Throw attack. Another belly blast. Oh, the reeds are sick right now. Yes, gets the wall splat. Nice big damage there. It gets the mix up. Goes low with it. Into another combo. This is an exhibition right now. What is going on? He is all over him, and Ru Kang can't do anything right now. The crowd are going wild here. This is nuts. This is an absolute stomp right now. Ru Kang really needs to get this round to stay in this one. And he is, he's all over him. He just can't get anything going. What is happening? He's getting all the punishes, and this is really looking bad now. Ru Kang, who started out so well in this tournament, could have it all end here if he doesn't get this round. And oh my goodness! Oh, six oh on Ru Kang! Oh man! And Ru Kang! Oh man, that is so unfortunate for Ru Kang. It's over just like that, as quick as it started. DBP has eliminated Ru Kang here, six rounds to zero. And you can see Ru Kang there with his with his hand on his head. There, he knows that he could have played better than that. But it was just a stomp. I mean, you know, the momentum, like just the rush down. It was a steamroll. The, yeah, the rush down. He just couldn't deal with it. Couldn't deal with it. And whenever, whenever he tried to do the power cross, GBP blocked it and punished it, stating to him, "Dude, you can't do that on me. I'm ready for it. I'm gonna punish you. So stop doing it." And he mm. kept doing it. DBP was always ready for it. And then <coughs> Ru Kang started to doubt his own playstyle. Mm. He didn't know what to do anymore. At one point, he was just holding back. He wasn't even back dashing anymore. He was just back walking. Mm. And DBP got him with the pressure, was hitting him with the health speed. Closed out so many rounds with the down back three. Ru Kang mm. simply got outrushed there. Didn't that know was, what to do. Yeah, that looked that was difficult. You could see how much stress he was under going through that yep. going through that pressure. I mean, just the sweeps didn't work, you know? The the belly blast didn't work, the power crush attempts, everything got punished accordingly, and it was just downhill from there. What a great showing of uh, season uh, season two, Bob. I mean, I also think it's a great showing of just knowledge of Bob in general. Yep. The way he was able to negate the pressure he so often, you know, puts out himself. Yeah. He was very comfortable at dealing with that, and that's a unique skill in itself if you can deal with your own tactics really well. Crazy. And, and yeah. You, you, just you know, I mean, I think that was really, uh, that was almost like a masterclass of how to win against Bob, with Bob. <laughs> you know, like he just, he had every, the positioning was great. You know, he was ready with the punishes. Even in these scramble scenarios, he got, he would always get the upper hand in the 50-50s. And it was really, really nice. And stuff. he just had such a good read on the health sweeps as yeah. well. Whenever Rukang tried to do health yeah. sweeps, he was ready for them and blocked them. This is, this comes from all the knowledge that he's gathered by playing Bob himself. Oh yeah, totally. I mean, in that, in that six rounds, I think he got one health sweep and that yeah. was it. You know, that was all she wrote. So DVP marches forward, the sole survivor for the German community. Yeah, crazy. And uh, yeah, there we go. I mean, it's, it's a sad, it's a sad, you know, finale. Obviously, Ru Kang would have liked to have a better finish, especially after eliminating so many top players here. I mean, he's especially after eliminating Tishman, who's the champion of this tournament. Yeah. Um, he's not going to be happy with the outcome, but you know, it's what happens. It's Tekken. Um, mirror matches are not easy because you're going to come true. up against the guy who knows your character. In so, and out. In and out. Um, but you know, shout out to Ru Kang, he had a shout great tournament. To didn't work out this time, but he definitely showed everyone what he's made of. 
and uh, that's, that, that counts Super nice guy, super good player, has yeah. improved so much, yeah. really has a lot of passion for the game, yeah. travels yeah. a lot, wants to constantly get better, exactly. and he's finally made it. This is his peak so far, yeah. top eight. Yeah. So, you he know, plays better than he usually does. So yeah, I, I, I don't think there's any shame yeah. in you know, losing that like that. And uh, you know he'll be back in next tournament. Next, so, yeah, yeah, absolutely. All right, top eight continues here with Daniel Mardo versus Blackbeard. Losers bracket match, people. And you know Daniel wants this. You know he wasn't happy when he lost to Me Trust, and um, he's going to want to win this one. Blackbeard, though, still very confident, still not letting up, still always having the confidence to go for those big reads in the in in like these clutch moments of the of the, of the matches. You know, he's very very ready to apply himself in every situation, and that's why he's here. That's why he's here on the stage in top eight. I'm just so excited to see how uh, Daniel Mato is going to deal with Josie because mm. Josie, obviously known for a counter he uh, heavy hitting uh, yes. stuff, but um, yeah, she's, she's got the magic forge, she's got a lot of good lows, she's got a lot of good pressure. I mean, but you know, and he's got the power of the beard, you know, he's got, he's got the power, power of the beard. beard, that buff, that beard buff, season three. <laughs> We're going down, man. This is going to be a good one. Blackbeard Season 3 beard buffs. And I mean, he wants to do it for Denmark, obviously. Of course, of course. Pride of a nation, man. Carrying the flag on his shoulders. Yeah. Let's do it. All right. Daniel Mardo now. Blackbeard. Damage Ryan. Wow, he's gonna break the wall. Yep. Last shatters. Oh, what? get off me. Ooh. And like I said, Josie very aggressive. Blackbeard. Mardo trying to find the opening here. To the forward four. Gets the hell sweep. And that's gonna be it. Yeah. Yes, really nice. Caught him sidestepping left there and clipped him with the hell sweep. What a turnaround from Daniel. I Mato know. After this life, this whole life. Episode. I mean, but that's just Josie's life in general, right? She yeah. starts out really well and then just gets blown up. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, no launch on that. Wow. Ken Ken, best launch punish. You gotta do that in the tournament situation. Indeed. Daniel Mato with the life lead down by four. This music has to be the exact opposite of ASMR, surely. <laughs> this music, I'm, I, I mean. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. I don't know what you guys think, but boy. <laughs> All right, here we go. Wow. Rush cancelled 2-4. That was crazy. Nice. Ready for the punish. Uh-oh. Oh, went under uh -oh. that. Season 2, baby. New move. And that should be it. I'm a fan of Daniel Mado this round just for that punish. Yep. That was a sick punish. And yeah, how would you end it with just <laughs> up forward 2, man? <laughs> wow. 1 0 to Mado. My personal highlight of this match was ducking a crouch dash 3 and then crouch cancelling 2 4. Yeah. That's yeah. not easy. That is not That's easy. Not easy. At all. That was a crazy punish. Solid, solid stuff. Nah, I'm just kidding. This track's all right. When, <laughs> I, when I play this track online, I actually quite like it. Because yeah. when you when you get deep into the game, like you just ride with the music, whatever's playing. Right? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And I was about to say, I said this back yesterday. I played so much on the stage that I actually got used to it. I'm fine with it now. Yeah, I, yeah, no. I, I really hated it at the beginning of the game, but nowadays I'm really used to it. I think it's I'm like the whatever. same. Yeah, you get used to it. And I got used to it. You have these death matches where it's exactly. always the same yeah. stage, right? So you, you, you just play on the it. stage for like three hours yeah. and you don't even care what you're yeah, yeah, playing yeah. behind because you're just, just so focused, focused on, on the, the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, it's true, it's true. Nice. Well, I mean, just in general, the Namco, you know, the music score in all the Tekken games has been sick. Yeah. There's not one Tekken game where I could say all the music was bad. Yeah. Like every Tekken game has got sick tracks. Sick tracks. Yeah, absolutely. Hammerhead, speaking of sick tracks, right? Good example, man, yeah. <laughs> this, is, this, is a, this is a prime example of that. Is this the most played track in the tournament so far? <laughs> random stage select, played. by the way. <laughs> yeah, random stage select, FTW. All yeah. right, here we go. So Daniel Mardo, one game up here. Yeah. 
Oh, yes. Danny Mado looking really good right now. Oh, the right reads. What a nice sidestep right there. Dodges the attempt on the counter hit four. And Daniel Mado playing super good in this matchup so far. Not really getting hit a lot on uh, counter hit. Mm. And what a duck. Wow. Backcash into duck. Just made that whip. Nice. Dashes in with the slide. Puts himself at the. Puts his back to the wall. Not sure if that's going to work out for him. Oh. 2 4. Nice parry. What? We're seeing some nice Tekken right now. Parries and crouches. Bad punish though. He could have yeah, got, he could have got more. more. Uh oh. That hell sweep though. I think he's dead. Ooh, Two baby. Yeah. All in the wall. It. Yeah, next it takes it. Oh man. This is not looking good. And all the matches just seem to have gone one sided all of a sudden. I know, right? What is going on? Daniel Mato oh, seems unstoppable right now. Crouch just one. Oh, the wall saved him. And Josie unable to get anything started so far. Oh, what a back nice. Into, into rage very, drive. very smart stuff there. Yes, good damage. What? In the back? What? No, Wait a second. Did he press a button? No. Oh. What was that? Get off me. Daniel Mado is still alive here. No. Oh. Oh. And Blackbeard with the comeback. It is not over yet. This is not over yet, guys. Blackbeard, exactly still alive. Oh no, that is such a bad leave. punish. Why didn't he get more of that? Oh. Down here at four. Gets the combo follow up. Yes. Even though it traded, he's still got the follow up to the wall now. Oh. Entirely whiffed, Ryan. It's not working out for him, but he's still alive. He's got the life lead as well. He wants to close this round out to stay alive. Get off me, says Mardo. Gets the low. And another one. Takes the round. Tying up the rounds. Blackbeard can take this. Oh fine, man. Fine All right, here we go. Blackbeard one round away from tying it up right now. Counter is. What? This should take him to the wall. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he this will. Could, this could break Mardo. If he gets this round, this could break him. After being on match point like that. Crazy. Gets it. And Ma Daniel Mardo, how do you yeah. answer after that? Wow. And Josie has just completely gone full circle and turned all the momentum around now. Oh! Forward for counter hit! Are we going to the wall? We aren't there quite yet, but Josie not out of trouble yet. Blackbeard now. Oh! And Daniel Mado, <laughs> so crisp. And Mado will be really happy to win that one. He definitely didn't want it to go to a 1 1 scenario. This is gonna be a good one. Mm. Now we have District Asim, uh, District G's Asim versus DBP. DBP. Yeah, and I mean, Asim will have definitely been watching on when he saw the dispatch of Ru Kang there at the hands of DBP. So he's gonna make sure that the same thing doesn't happen to him as to what happened to his teammate because that was an onslaught, man. You know, that was just a complete beatdown. Six rounds to zero. Six rounds. Um, Asim, of course, no stranger in the Bob matchup. They played each other a lot. You know, different style of Bob, though. Different so style. it's interesting to see how he's going to apply himself yeah. against DBP. I think DBP is one of those players that can play really risky if it matters, but at the same time can really adapt and change to the basic, basic fundamental tech yeah. if it matters. He totally can do that. And we've seen him switch tactics quite a lot this one tournament. Yeah. You know, yeah. With the multiple opponents he's gone up against, He's shown that he's very comfortable even in minus one scenarios where you yep. have to come back. Absolutely. He's very good at that. Yeah. So I think it's going to be interesting to see what happens here. Um, I'm not going to give a prediction for this game because yeah. I was wrong the last yeah. time. So let's just see how it plays out. But yeah, I wanted to ask before, guys, which Tekken game in all the Tekkens had the best soundtrack for you personally? Just a personal question. For you guys watching on, on the stream, which Tekken game had the very, very best music where you're like, this is the best Tekken music I've ever heard? Was it Tekken 7? Was it Tekken Tag 2? Was it a different Tekken completely? Let's hear it, guys. How about you, Mihawk? Talk to me. I was, I was just thinking of it while you were asking. <laughs> the best Tekken music you ever heard in any Tekken game, you were like, no, this is too good. Or do you have, like, was there one track where you like... I mean, all right. It's so hard. I mean, I don't know if it's Tekken 3 or Tekken Tag 1. Mm. There is there's choice between two tracks. Tekken 3, Jin Kazama stage. That was dope. Yeah. And Tech and Tech won the school stage. Oh, that was sick as well. That was yeah. sick. I love it. Yeah. It's you know, one of my favorite stages. I, I quite like that. I'm not sure if it was the music, but I like the atmosphere in Tekken 4. Tekken 4 Honmaru. 
like not yeah, like yeah, it, yeah. It, it had this really sick like the final boss of a movie yeah, yeah, kind yeah, of yeah, feeling yeah. you know um but some of my favorites i mean oh man tekken 3 had some tracks man lay wulong the, the, the ost not the ast the lay wulong horang you know um Boy, King had some good music as King well. King had some good music in yeah. Tekken 2, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, King in Tekken 2. Nina in Tekken 2. Sick, sick, sick. Tekken Tag 1. I mean, even random tracks are sick in Tag 1, like Character Select Screen. Yeah. Yeah. Even just the, the Character Select, Select Screen was, was a sick track. Yeah. So, yeah, really, really interesting. I like that Namco give their very best for us on the OST department and in the gameplay department each and every time. They don't need, you know, you would think just the game's important, but they even go all out for us, even in the soundtrack. Yeah, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So, the B P, the crowd's favorite right now versus Asim, District G Asim. Boys will be watching on from the UK, no doubt. Of course, Kane and, uh, sorry, Kane and Trench, yeah, they'll be watching on. And uh, I was going to say, Ru Kang will be rooting for his boy Asim. Round one, Dragon's Nest. Uh, it's not Dragon's Nest. It's first bit of fame. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's, the same, it's the same tarmac as... as it's the uh, volcano where Heihachi threw Kazuya off yeah. when they were ki uh, when That was, was evil. Kid, I, I was so sad when I saw the ending of Tekken 2. And yeah. like, I was like, yeah, what are you exactly. doing, man? It's your son. You can't just do that. What, just because he asked for a bit extra pocket money? Dash him off a volcano. This is bad. This is so bad. DBP now gets the launch. He's going to maximize the opportunity. Yes, screw now. Almost to the wall. He's got some pressure going though. Right, three. Ooh! Didn't get the belly blast, he could have killed him there. Well, there it is. There's the lot. Blocks that immediately. Oh. oh nice. That was really good because he didn't do it immediately. He yeah, he waited. Waiting a second. He wanted to make the parry frames expire. Yeah. Very smart stuff. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at this. Look Fresh at up, this. Breaking the throw. Pristine gameplay right now from Asim. Yeah. Oh, ready for the sweep. He's like, Ru Kang does that one. <laughs> I've seen that Absolutely. before. <laughs> Seems familiar. Yeah, yeah. I know what to do. <laughs> Deja vu moments here at Berlin Taking Clash. But as I said... Ooh, nice. Asked him with the combo, obviously. But as I said, DBP is really comfortable in changing up his pattern. So we might see him do a lot of hop kicks, mm. depending on how it goes. Yes. Less, less um, health speed, more down back threes, and then hop kicks. Now back three, forward forward two. And there's the wall pressure now. See, that was a hop kick. Mm. Oh, I heard Bob. I heard Bob's sound effect. Yes. He's dead. I, I knew he pressed him on because I just heard the. Yeah, yo, yeah. Yo, yo. Guys at home, man, you need to practice your. Yo. Make it legit. Ask him. Really sick read there. Gets the rage up. Oh, big damage in the back. And the boot. Adding insult to injury there. Sweet bang. And this is all. Double health three. This is all DBP right now. He just steamrolled him that round. He has woken up here, DBP. Ooh. And ducking this time, gets him with the mid. Yes, catches with him, punish. caught him crouching. Down 2-1 block. Oh, belly oh, blast. Uh, oh, that was that. a late break, bro. Latest frame possible. That was the latest break. You know when you have to work extra, no lunch break till evening times, bro. In that graveyard shift. Down back three. Oh my days. Chipping him away right now. Katarina though with Rage Drive. Oh. And takes the first game against Aston. Nice turnaround. Not going to get to use any of the Rage Drive or Rage Arts. BBP being chanted here by everyone in the building right now. Aston thinking patiently about what to do next. I think he's going to stick with Katarina. Oh, I think so too. I think it's not a smart decision to swap to Kazumi now. I wouldn't swap if I was Aston. But, but Aston, I mean, Aston has proven to make that formula work he's been proven to make them down a game character change scenario yeah, yeah, absolutely. work he's done that many times before i just feel like i just feel like he played really bad in that match uh really good in that matchup he could have done it mm. like the thing is now um playing with kazumi definitely opens up for new mind games right but dbp has obviously watched asim play with kazumi yes. so if he starts his general things that he does his general habits and mm. if dbp is aware of that yes he might just go super ham on him that's true that's true i mean there was that middle round there where he just went ballistic on him with yeah. crazy house sweeps and he just kept the pressure up so yeah if we see that again i'm not sure what's yeah gonna hammer happen. hat that's the oh, we wow. call it yesterday we had that's we had one stage for each wave so yeah. this is the wave four stage it seems there's like. a guaranteed hammerhead stage every set now what's going on i don't even this know man. man this isn't random 
they're, they're doing something here. This is not random select. Oh, 1-1-2, one, one, get floors him. There we go. Ooh. 1-1-2. One, one, yep, DBP trying to mix up his offense now. And the block. Nice on the block on the sweep. Maybe could have got more damage there. Power cross, I knew he was going to power yeah, cross. Yeah, yeah. Could smell it coming a mile away. And Kazumi is on the board. Athens counter pick working out so far. Oh, and Duck this time, he's afraid of the, of those slows, Ryan. Now it's just a matter of hitting the right mids in the right time. And he's pressuring him so much with Kazumi. Wow. Round 4 two blocks, he's looking for the counter here. He yeah, wants absolutely. the damage here. Wants to use that rage bar, oh, and there's a launch, so and that is going to be it for this round. Out of nowhere, Crouch dash two. Oh. Out of nowhere, he just caught him off guard there. That one slip, that one time you think I'm going to step here, and it doesn't work out, and DBP made him pay. And yes. the whip punish. Oh, down for two. Down yes. For two counter. This time he gets caught. Uh oh. Oh no! Those one one two. I've got to say those one one two follow-ups are not working out. Yeah. He's been going for them every round, and they are getting himself killed. And that's what I said, uh, Ryan. It's risky to just swap characters mid set because yeah. you don't even know if someone knows your tendencies. Nice duck on the back to two. That was good. That was good. That's him not quite out of it yet. He's fighting immense pressure here. He's fighting the crowd as well. Staying alive right now, Asim. Uh oh. He's looking bad. DVP working on that life bar. That's it. Yes, yeah, closes it out. Guaranteed down two. Alright, ties it up now. Two Final apiece. round. DVP could either win this or ask him oh. to find himself. But as I speak, there's the counter hit. Uh oh. And again. Oh, the read. The read. I on think he's dead. One more pixel wow. now. DBP just dominates District G here at Berlin Second Clash, defeating not only Wu Kang, but now Aston as well. And the crowd are fully behind him. And DBP, man, taking out the big names. What's happening, Ryan? I like how that one stoner is louder than all of them put together. I don't even know what I, what I can... I'm not even hearing myself when they start screaming, dude. Coming to the winner's Super Akuma versus Storm. Winner's final, winner's final action. Final action, baby. Mitra Storm. I didn't, I didn't see that coming. I didn't see him getting to winner's final. He is guaranteed third place. Whatever guaranteed happens right now. Um, Against Super Akuma, and think of what's on the line for Super Akuma. If he makes it, he's so close to yeah. just win the whole thing. Yeah. He needs two more, two more sets. That's all he needs. Yeah. I mean, Super Akuma. You know, it's clear now. He came here with a mission. That was the objective from yep. day one. He Absolutely. wanted to win here. He yep. wants his spot. He wants to seal his spot in the finals. Yep. And he's so close. He's very close right now. Yeah. So I think right now they're arguing on which side every, each of them should play. Rock, paper, scissors or what's happening? We don't even know yet. But yeah, tell me, how do you feel about this matchup? Um, I think that at the moment, until I see that people know how to fight Akuma, I'm going with Super Akuma all the way. Because so far, from what I've seen, people are not stopping the the, the um the, uh, pressure. people are not stopping the demon pit pressure. They're not stopping. They're not floating him out of that. Yeah. They're taking all the options against the wall. Yeah. And just in general, I feel like people are, that makes people uncomfortable. Yeah. You know, you have to show him that he can't just run all over you with demon pit mix up because he is so deadly. He can track you. Yeah. He can throw you. He can do empty demon pit into other mix ups. So you know, he is super super effective there. And that's essentially. On, if you're playing defense, that's where Akuma's gonna get his damage. You know, he's gonna come in with Demon Blip, or he's gonna do low into something, but for that to happen, he needs to be very, very close to you. And the thing is, now now both players even have more time to adjust to each other. Since we're in winner finals, we have a first to three set instead of a first to two, as we That's had. true. Yeah. So more time for both players, more yeah, time course. to adapt. Best of five right now. Best that's of where five. It's, where it's gonna we're change everything. Five, yeah. What does the chat think? Who's gonna who's gonna take this? Who do you who do you guys see winning this set? Is it gonna be Mitra Storm or is, is it gonna be Super Akuma? Good question. I wanna know what they think. So guys, type one for Super Akuma and type two for Mitra Storm. One for Super Akuma, two for Mitra Storm. So 
They're trying to put some pressure onto them. See? <laughs> so I see a lot of twos. I do see a lot of twos, although we'll see a couple of ones as well. It's hard to tell, even the chat is not sure. It's even Stevens right now, it can go either way. Best of five, our first best of five match today. Nina versus Crazy Super Akuma. Mitra Storm, Italy versus France. Yes. <laughs> All right, here we go. Round one. Fight. Starting off with pressure. Nina, a nightmare. And both players just going straight in for the kill. Yeah. No waiting about here. I feel like Nina is really a character that if you don't know how to deal the matchup, you just pressure to Oh! Yeah. Uh, gets the launch now. Immediate punish to the wall. Yep. Oh, yeah. Following up now. Mix up. It's a mix up situation. Mm. Nice power crush punish. Pretty committed to that. That execution, that's not easy to do, Ryan. That isn't easy at all. Showing his skill right now. Alright, nice turnaround here for Super Akuma, taking the first round. Demon flip immediately, right off the bat. And here we go, it's jab central. To the wall. Yes. And now it's a mix Tatsu up. follow up. Oh, oh, and there, there is that deadly demon flip. Oh, to Tatsu. Oh, man. And everything's working now for Super Akuma here. Wow. That, that hitbox execution, boy, working out really nicely. Uh, that was clean. That, that was, was yeah. Perfect. Seven golden letters. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Here we go. And now with the pressure, down four. And I mean, he almost has access to another bar. Yeah, yeah, I mean... He's filling up his bar as he gets hit. But him. after that initial outburst from Mitra Storm, he's just negated everything that he's tried to do. Yeah. It's been all Super Akuma. He's known exactly where to be to make it uncomfortable for Mitra Storm to take risks, and he's just applying that strategy really well right now. Look at that. But look at that. The one time... Look at that. The one time he went in, he had the Demon Flip already out on top of him, Follows up with the fireball and hits his wake up yeah. kick. Perfect stuff. Perfect, perfect stuff. I feel like Mitra Storm doesn't really know what to do against the demons. Well, this is what I'm saying to you. That's why I was saying, until I see people that look like they're competent against them, look like they know what they're doing, stopping demon flips, are ready for the pressure that's up close, they're not going to win. Yeah. You know, especially in the best of five scenario, because Absolutely. all it's going to take is for him to work out what kind of application works where, you know, where I can assert myself, where I can get the low into fireball, you know, into cancel, combo, and stuff like that. And once he starts, once he understands that, once he understands where your weakness lies, he just goes crazy. That's why he's got crazy on his jersey. And now he's thinking of, I think he locked in with Link. Super Akuma not that happy about it, knowing that how evasive Link can be with her AOP. Mm. Can go under certain things that usually characters can't really escape. Yeah. And um, we will see how Mitra Storm will apply that in this particular matchup. Gonna be good. An immediate whip punch there. So ready, Super Akuma. Oh, yes. Wall bound, season oh, two, yes, baby. Gets it. Season two combos, boy. Oh, went for the back turn down three. When floats him. Ready for the dash. Uh oh. Now he has him at the wall. Mix up time. Oh, the follow up didn't connect. Punish into combo, that's so deadly when Akuma yeah. has access to the bar, you can get a... He's got so many options, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, you don't know 10 frame launcher, more or yeah. less, if you have the execution for it. And that's so deadly against it. Wow. Alright, he gets 
the mini combo. Wall saves him though. Weird angle. Ooh. Yes, gets the punish. That bar. Oh, look at the damage. What is this? This is a combo fiesta right now. Super Akuma. Match. Oh, whoa. Game point here. Best of five. This is so one sided right now. Absolutely. Counter hit four for Storm. He needs some damage going. He needs some momentum, man. Yeah, he's got to keep the pressure up as well once he gets something started. It's been five rounds straight so far, right? Yeah. So he definitely needs to do something. Has a good life lead right now, but oh, this wow. could shift any second. Yeah, the character switch is not working out right now. Oh, look at the look at the combos. Wait a second. He is not done with him. The exhibition continues. This is insane. Oh! EXDP. 2-0 so far. And Micha Storm. He's got his uh, Italian counterparts there beside him, giving him some tips. Anna. He is going to Anna? And Super Akuma Anna Williams? Smiling. Super Akuma is smiling. He's oh my happy gosh. about that decision. Anna Williams, what are we going to see here? Is this going to be a turnaround? I don't know, but I think we're going to see something really interesting. I hope it's not a complete whitewash. It would be nice to see um, Namco's latest DLC edition do some damage here. Akuma, uh, Anna, Anna known as one of the weaker characters this season, so we'll see how this turns out. Here we go. It might be too late, though. Maybe you should have started with Anna if you had something special with her. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh my goodness me. Super Akuma doesn't care what character it is. He's going ham. It's immediately with all this pressure, and this oh. is grounded. This is an un oh my, this is a beating. This is that this is that beating when you come home late, bro. When you had a curfew, you came home late. Sent to bed, no dinner. This is that this is those licks. Oh! We are styling. Oh! He is styling on him here at Berlin Second Clash. Styling. I've never seen this. He's creating his own walls, bro. Oh man, this is bad. Switch. Oh. Oh man. This is a family show, guys. This is not allowed. There are kids watching. Come on, we can't do this right now. Oh man, this is not this is not right. This was supposed to be U rated. Oh man, no, please, no, no. Oh no, this is horrible. I don't know what to say anymore. My hands are in front of my face, I can't watch. This is too much. This is too much. Please. Super Akuma needs one more round and this is looking so free. Yeah, but he's using the rounds as combo exhibitions, people. It's he's not like, even trying to win anymore. Like he's playing against he's just, think, he's just combo. thinking his best combos and trying to exhibit in front of the crowd. Oh man, please, someone throw in the white towel. Throw in the white towel, please. It's over, it's over, it's over. The towel, please, come on. It's got, it's got to be done. He got absolutely destroyed. Oh man. I don't even know what else to say, man. Is it over? Is it over? Oh, okay, it's over. Okay, I can look now. I, I, that was you a can stomp. Talk again. You can talk again. That, that was a stomp, right. man. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That was a stomp, man. I mean, oh, uh, I felt bad. I felt bad. Three but all, listen, but like I mean, this is what happens when you come up against a player that just has your number. They Hands just know the what to do. In and if you're uncomfortable with it against their character, it's not going to fare well for you. Nope. And we saw three different characters, two character switches, and none of them worked he out. He played his best character, Nina, the, the one that he's most comfortable with, got destroyed. Picked Ling, hoping for an AOP, maybe helping him out. Didn't help at all. Went for Anna, and Super Akuma was so ready for it. He was just waiting for um, Mitra Storm to swap to another character, just so he can show off his combos mm -hmm. at third character. I mean, would you say that in Tekken 7 there's a character that's generally really good versus Akuma? I think King is really good. Because mm. King, um, whenever whenever uh, Akuma does that demon flip, King can just always hop knee and you still get a combo. Mm. You just do the hop knee, down forward 3-4, uh, 4-3, four, uh, four, and then you can just get a combo mm. all the time. So that doesn't work against King, you can't okay. cheat him out like that. Okay. And I think in general there there are a lot of characters that can really play against Akuma. You just need to really lap those specific situations yeah. on where he does the demon flip, where he sort of floats you, where he does. Yeah. For example, with Dragonov, if an Akuma does a demon flip on me, I immediately if he does the one sending two into demon.
performance that I immediately can up, uh, do up forward right. three and just float him. So you've got an option there ready to go. It's important that you have your options locked down against the Yeah, I mean with Kazuya, if he does demon flip, I can do neutral four yeah, and see, it floats him because it's got that high yeah, hitbox, yeah. you know, so you can't just come down with any option. It's so important that you just know these it's a small little detail, yeah. but it's so important in this particular match. Yeah. So you can get four into yeah. a screw combo, yeah. and Absolutely. then you yeah. pretty good. And then so. he will stop doing it. Yeah. I mean, well, he might, but he might. He not. might. But yeah, you've got an option at least. So we've got DBP against Daniel Amato. Yeah. Winners final. Italy versus Germany. Best of five. And from what I've seen today, I feel like this can't be winners final because um, Super Akuma's in winners. This can't be oh yeah, final. you're right, you're right. Yeah, it yeah. was my bad. Yeah, I'm sorry. This so is, uh, this, this is losers loser bracket. Final. This is um, winners final. No, this, this is losers semi because Mitras is in losers final. Yeah. I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm yeah. just gonna shut up. I'm yeah. just no, that's fine. That's, that's fine. fine. You're doing good. You're doing good. So yeah, yeah. losers semi action coming up right now. The winner of this, as you guys know already, is going to be playing Mitras, and then the winner of that is going to go into grand finals and play Super Akuma, who has just looked so unstoppable all through the tournament all yesterday and all today actually, the he's the man one, to beat the only one that did actual damage to him was dbp oh yeah they had yeah. a close set two that's one. true maybe we know what the grand finals is going to be already but in order to do that he needs to win against daniel mato who's definitely a strong opponent yeah he's no he's no weak he's no weak opponent so we'll see germany versus italy once again yes We've evened up the score pretty much. We need to be two more Italians to finally be victorious mm. over the Italians in this tournament. <laughs> <laughs> Just hyping up the little uh, rivalry. That yeah, no, it's cool, it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> two more Italians to take down. You can do it, DBP. All Let's right. go. Daniel Nato versus DBP. Okay, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Oh, nice sidestep there. Yeah, very nice sidestep. Oh no, eats the hop kick, ran into that one. And Daniel Mado with the combo. Mm -mm -mm. What a whip. Why did that whip? Oh, nice, nice block dog. there, sick punish as well. Yes, ready for that punish every time. Too sick. Oh, look oh, at that. And Crouches the high into the wall combo. Oi! Oh, wait, what? Wait, what? That was so good. It feels like he knew that he could rage art in between because there is a time frame where he can just rage art quickly enough and he knew that, that this was rage sick. art being 30 frames quick yeah. just reaches in between and yeah, that was sick. the punishment. That was sick. Alright, here we go, round one. Daniel Mado on the board now. Really impressive first round there. Some interesting content. Uh-oh. <laughs> DVP on the offense. Yes, power crush. And you, and you know someone is going to get counter hit. A 2 1 pressure. Counter hit. And Tekken 4 tactics. And he oh. up the round. takes it. DVP versus Daniel Mato. One run here. And he's teasing him with those lows. Yep. Ooh, 4 4 counter hit. Oi. But that's not going to be enough at all, and he's still got a lot of work to do, and he doesn't have Rage Art or Drive anymore. But we do have Superman. Yeah, Daniel Mado is going to be fine with that. Daniel Mado was fine with that. Because he knew he had a lot of health left. So what's going to happen? Four four. Four. The keep out move. Yeah, Jin, Jin just so deadly with counter hits. Yeah. Nice duck. Mm. We're too slow this time. Yeah. Oh, no more hit. Nice, nice, really, so ready. Daniel Mado just showing everyone that that training with Tishmon has paid off here. Definitely doing dividends right now. This is looking really good for Daniel Mado. Yeah, man, Daniel Mado doing bits right now. Absolutely. One nil, one yeah. nil, one nil. And DBP definitely needs to change something up because I feel like he's got counter hit so many times by that forward four. Mm. It is so deadly. It's it so solid. Much yeah, it's got good range. You don't want to get hit by that on counter because it does mad damage. And it's safe as well, so you can kind of keep doing it. I think DBP needs to get in his zone. DBP is strong when he has that momentum going, where he he's just rushing momentum. you down, rushing you down. He needs to get that started. If he can, if he can apply himself like that, he's definitely going to 1-1. And now the crowd cheering for his man, DBP. 
want him to get his composure The final back German there. player, right? All right, here we go. That's it. And Daniel Mato with the huge combo here. <coughs> Going for the low. Oh man, it's not looking good. Oh, we've got a sweep. Oh! Oh, that was insane. What a read from DBP right there. All right, here we go. Daniel Mardo though, just continuing like business as usual. Counter it. Oh my gosh. No, why did he do that? Why did he try and do that? Eats the can can kicks. And oh up. yes, and that, and that might be it. This has to be it, Ryan. This has to be it. No. Oh no! Oh. Commentator's curse, man. Oh man. Okay, here we go. DBP now finally gets around Help into me. the sweet, yes, yeah, sweet bang. <laughs> Crowd are going nuts right now. Crouch dash one. Blocks the hell sweep. Gets the punish. All right, DBP now looking good so far. But is it enough? Cowan hit forward four. Daniel Mardo back in this. It's looking deadly right now. Daniel mardo has got him at the wall now. What's going to happen though? DBP trying to get out of the corner. Yes, power crush and he gets the low. Closes the round. What's gonna happen? DBP is taking the lead in the set now. Oh, what? <laughs> Why did that whip? And the Hell Sweep Duck delayed hop kick punish. Maximum damage. He didn't want to do while standing two again. Just did delay hop kick instead. And there's the punish and another, a third low. Gets in this time. Set point for Daniel Mardo. This is still just best of three. Oh, get off me. And the power cross. Yes. Another power cross. And he's oh. dead. Right. DBP, Daniel Maro. 1-1. One, one. <coughs> and Devil Kazuya leaps onto the stage to talk to Daniel Maro and give him some advice here. He is backing his boy now. He wants to see an Italian victory. This is so intense, man. Yes, he wants one, Daniel Mardo to win this and move forward. This is anyone's game right now. DVP is definitely back in the seat of a threat. I mean, he was looking grim for him at one point there, but he stayed firm and brought it all the way back here, and it is 1-1 right now. Homie, you're going to keep charge on me? Let me show you what I've got. <laughs> <laughs> that was interesting one, one. when the while standing two whiffed when he blocked the sweep, right? Probably had to delay it a bit more. All right, here we go. Alright, 1-1, DVP against Daniel Mado. Oh man. It. And now he has the momentum. Oh, hop, hop kick. Out. Daniel Mado not having any of that noise. Takes him to the wall. Come back to 2-3. Forward 4, but it's not a counter hit though. Oh, power crush. Yes, into the sweep. Oh, goes for the race drive. And he gets the wall splat. And it is over and DVP takes the first round. And Daniel Mado is, is yelling. He's in his head. I feel like he's in his head. Oh my goodness me, he's all over him right now. He's got him to the wall already. The round's just begun. What is going on? Oh my goodness. All battle, season two, baby. Season two combos, and it's a perfect. Daniel Mado has to make this crazy comeback now. If what is going on? He's, he's in his head right now. What's happening? Another one. What? He is all over him right now. Is he going to do another sweep, guys? Are we going to see four sweeps? What is happening? Nice punish. Nice punish by Daniel Mato. Still in this. He's not out of this oh at goodness. all. Anything can happen. Yes. Daniel Mato, crazy Daniel Mato, player. solid player. Definitely never count him out, ever. Oh, that man. But that might be it now. Oh! And he takes down Daniel Mato. Daniel Mado is not happy with that. I mean, who would be? Who would be? I mean, 
he knows he could have done better than that. He knows that he shouldn't have gone down that way. But unfortunately, it's over, and his Berlin Tekken Clash journey has come to an end. Yeah, it's one of those things, guys. You know, it can happen. There's got to be a winner, there's got to be a loser. Daniel Mado obviously feeling the effects of that one really hard, but he's also a great player, and, you know, that's what happens. DBP, great play from him. He did a good job of getting into Daniel Mado's head, and he, once he was in, he stayed there. He just lived, he just set up his tent on that Corpus Callosum and he didn't leave. I don't know what to say. Yeah, it's one of those things, man. If, it's Tekken, baby. If someone gets in your head, it's I, over. I don't know what to say. It's over. The, the, the momentum swapped so badly. Mm. What happened in the last round? Round star, three health sweeps in a row. It's Tekken, man. I felt it's like Tekken. that was Rukang playing up it's, there. Dude. You know, I mean, I think that when you actually get in someone's head you have to do your best to stay there and part of that is by doing things that you normally wouldn't do yep. you know a statement of I'm in your head is three health sweeps in a row yep, you know absolutely so, and, and, and I, I think also, that's what he wanted, also, to, one, wanted to show one important thing that I want to mention is when you play in tournaments and when you play somewhere else than your own country it's so hard because you're you're not only up against the player you're up against the crowd as well mm. and I really felt like when the crowd was cheering for DVP it really got to Daniel Mato's said I was yeah. looking at him and he got super angry. He was uh, saying some stuff that I couldn't really understand. Yeah. And I felt like he let that get to him too much. And yeah. it put him off his momentum, you know? You really need to put that all aside. I totally agree. You yeah. totally need to put that aside and just yeah. focus on the match because that's where it matters. And I feel like he, the pressure was too much onto him. And DBP, as, as he realized that, gained his momentum immediately by just going absolutely ham on him and rushing him down. Yeah, and it was really, really a great yeah. performance. Um, and that's why he's moving forward, I guess. Yeah, it's... Loser's finals, man. Yeah, no, it's great. It's great. And I'm sure he wants that rerun against Super. Oh, so he's looking. Yeah, yeah. So he's looking to beat Mitra Storm. Now in the first of three, though, and I I'm pretty sure that they plas played yet last year at the at the BTC. And from what I remember is that BT uh, that DBP was winning against Mitra Storm in the first of three. Mm. So I can see him feeling really confident in this match. Mm. It's gonna be interesting to see how it goes down. But we're not we're not there quite yet. Yeah. It's gonna be DBP versus Mitra Storm. Yes, yes, great experience against Mitro Storm. Last year he was just winning against him, so he definitely. Really? Yeah. Mm. That's why I feel like DVP feels ready for the matchup, feels ready for the player. Now, is this going to be best of five? This is going to be best of five. So this this is loser's, loser's final, final, right? Yeah, so it's going to be best of five. Best oh, it's of five. Interesting. Three games yeah. is what, what it needs to get you to the winner, uh, to the grand final. Indeed, indeed. And DVP and Mitro Storm both want it. They want their rerun against Super. <laughs> both of them, yeah. Both of them. Yeah. More than anything I'm else. Not sure if the, I'm not sure if the um, if the stream monsters want a rerun with Mitro Storm and Super Akuma, though. Anyways, here we go. Mishima Dojo, all right. So here we go, round one. BBP making some space before he goes on his attack. Oh, goes for down 4 2. Down 4 1. Ooh, no, down 4 1. Oh, goes for the power crush straight away. 4 3 blocks. And yes, it gets the old right. One plus two. Nice punish on the Wild Selling 2. Oh, power wow. Crush. The tracking. So quick. 15 frames, man. The tracking. And it's only minus 13 as well. Yeah. One of the best power crushes out there, mm. for sure. Oh, ready for the high. Wow, ready to crouch and punish. Yeah. Sick. Haha, <laughs> the crowd getting... They're getting, getting so getting, into getting, it. The, the crowd track. getting ahead of themselves there. And the throw break, two, two throw. Nice punish on the power cross. Ooh, what was two? Juicy. Yeah. And Mitra Storm looks oh, flustered man. here. He definitely needs that round, man. Back swing. Oh, and Mitra Storm hasn't had a good couple of games now. He just lost to uh, Super Akuma. He's straight in against DBP now, who's on fire yeah. and has the crowd behind him. Yeah. It's really difficult for him right now. And I feel like he hasn't forgotten about the match with Super Akuma either. I mean, how could he, you know? And it literally just happened. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, uh, yes. Four, four, three. Three. yes. One more. Three. One more. Yeah, it takes it. All right. Finally. Mitra Storm finally getting out the blocks. Yeah. He needed that round. 
And mix up season two. Yeah. yeah, Bob has access to a lot of new mix ups now. Sweep. Ooh. Oh, sweep so there. good at blocking those. And Nina just not getting any damage, yeah. you know? Just getting, little, just getting little hits here and there, nothing big. Oh, yes, and that's a good combo. That's a Anything good launcher. Can happen. He's going to take him to the wall. Not quite, though, not quite. Oh! Ooh. Oh! DVP so ready. DVP so ready for all that. 1 0 rank. Yeah, yeah, that was quick, man. And imagine if you were Mitra Storm now. You lost 3 0 against Super Akuma. Oh, man. You're down the first game in yeah. the loser's hand. What would you do? What would you do? Yeah, think? I think he needs to forget that. I think that needs to. He needs to only use the part of that where he thinks about what he could do better. He doesn't need to focus on the fact that he lost. He only needs to focus on what he needs to change now to adapt to what DBP is doing and get the win. None of that, oh, whatever, you lost it. That, none of that matters. All that matters is what you do from here. Yeah? And he needs to get together with what's happening in this set, focus on what he needs to change. You know, he did a lot of sweeps, they got blocked, he got punished, he needs to yeah. adapt. Yeah. And he has a chance here. It's best of five. You know, it's not over yet. Yeah, absolutely. He needs to stay with that mindset if he, has, if he wants to have a chance here. Yeah. It's going to be crazy. I, I, I just want to see what Mitra Storm is going to do differently now. Hopefully, it will change something because if there's a time to do something, it's now. Yes. You don't want to do it in the last game. Yes. You need to change it up. And now. Bob officially doing handstands on the BTC logo. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Dragon's Nest. All right. There we go. So it's uh, another day at the office for DBP who's applying pressure again. And okay, we got Storm now. Let's get up on one. Oh yes, with the hop kick. Oh no, punish on that. All right, here we go. All right, DBP looking oh, so comfortable. So quick with that. He's talking. Do you wow. see that? Oh my goodness, that is insane. Baits him into crouching, delays it, and then just catches him with it when he wasn't ready. And he kept ducking so many times, he was so yeah. afraid of the health speed. Oh, what a timing of PvP. Oh! So sick. Oh man, and That's PvP it. looking so good right now. Obviously cheering for DBP. <laughs> they are Mitra definitely right behind DBP here. here. Ooh. Nice. And the pressure. Nice yeah. up or two by Mitra Storm here. Yeah, he caught him there. Gets the combo. Should take him to the wall. Yeah, surely. With okay. Nina's amazing wall carry. But it's not over yet though. Oh, now it is. Now it is. Yeah, now it is. Gets the throw afterwards. Nice follow up. Goes low on that exchange. And wow. the three. So ready. That is one of the hardest things to duck, Ryan. I know. It's so sharp. So sharp. Ducking forward three. Just for the crowd that is watching from home. For the people. Ducking forward three is probably one of the hardest things to duck ever. Yeah, it comes out so fast. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you gotta be on point to duck that one. You gotta block and duck immediately, yeah. and that comes out so fast. Yeah. So 2 0. I don't know what Mitros is gonna do. Link? Anna? Honestly, at this stage, I have no idea. Swap to Link. Uh, it, it's, it's not gonna be easy. I mean, you and, can see it on his face. You and, know, I, and I feel like Bob is a good matchup versus Link, because he has the down one. Yeah. It's your AOP, it has such good tracking. Yeah. Vertical tracking. I think at this point, he just feels he has to try something different. Whatever that different looks like, he has to try it. Man, he went down 3-0 against Super Akuma and now 2-0 yeah. against... Uh, oh man, I, I want him to at least get a game back, man. Not like this. Not 6-0 not six, six and out. Come on. He, he, he at least get a game back. I'd like to see him get a game back. That's crazy. I mean, we're in his home turf. We're in the Italian <laughs> We are, we are. And what a, what a great start from DVP. Knew exactly what he was going for. Oh man, this is tough. Hell sweep! Down we go. Oh man. This is looking really difficult now for me. Oh. Oh, the one time he blocked it. The one time he blocked the low. 
juice, this is crazy. Oh, guys, I mean, is this over? Uh, is, this, is this already over? Oh, nice. nice. Stuck there, finally. Oh, man. And he's just mixing him up. Crazy. Back 2-2. Two, two. Keeps getting him. Oh, nice yes, punish. yes. Oh, and the oh, side log into Hell Sweep. Lost the race drive. Nice oh, block yes. on the Hell Sweep. Got greedy with that one. He didn't need to do that. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh. Finally gets around. Can this be the start of something new, though? And there's the throw. Doesn't break it. BBP with the combo. Takes him to the wall. And now the mix up time. Nice. And block that. Yeah, yeah, really punish. nice crouch interruption. Yeah. Ooh, wall saves him, I think. Oh, yeah, indeed. Ooh, interesting exchange, and he was ready for the high there. Oh, and nice. And he is back in this. He's got two rounds with Link. Seems he like he's feeling home. much more comfortable with Link in this matchup. Uh oh. Ooh. This is it, I think. I'm pretty sure this is it. Uh oh, it's not over yet. Oh, oh my, my god. god, it's not over yet. Hell three. Mihawk, could this be a turnaround? Oh, oh man, no. Not this time. No. Not this time. Right. And it is two games to one. Mitra Storm has pulled it back here. He's found a formula that works in Ling Zhao Yu, and he's going to be sticking with it here. For a spot in Grand Finals, DBP now, yeah. one game away. Mistra Storm is still in this, man. Never count this guy out. He's one of the best Europeans. Crazy good Nina. Now, doing what, it with was, Link. Was Link the answer all along? That's the question. We were, we're about to see, man. Mm. Maybe DBP needs some time to adjust to the Link playstyle that yes. he has. Yes. But we will see. We will see. I honestly <laughs> don't know. That download is momentarily on pause. Yeah. And we'll see what happens from here. I feel like he should use more down one against me. Down one yeah, is such a for sure, for sure. Thing. Yeah, he didn't use that much the last game. But like you said, he's figuring it all out. He's looking at how he has to apply himself, and that's not a good Keep start. Giving Mitras all the things he needs right now. Oh, wow. Oh, he messed it up. And he's lost the momentum that he built up. And that's the easy one. Yes. Yeah. Out of range for that sweep. Yeah. Very good by Mitra Storm. Now with the pressure, oh, wow. and gets the third round and fourth round in the draw. I Definitely building confidence right now. Starting with the launch. The pride of Germany on the line here. Yeah, starting. Oh, yeah, four, oh, four, two. Also a very good move against Ling. That's a four. EVP looking better now. He Let's is. See how this turns out. Oh, nice duck. Couldn't get a punish though. Yeah. Oh, and a nice crouch there. Yeah. His defense looking much better right now. Yeah. He's definitely woken up here. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh! Side roll, he gets hit. I was worried for him. Yeah. When I saw the situation, I was getting worried for that that could happen. And there we go. DBP back in this game. Kang told me that the only option of getting out of that rage drive in that situation is to hold up. Oh, if really? you side roll, you get hit. Oh. If you hold back, you get hit. You oh, just have really? to quick stand no, and up. take the minus frames. Right, right. But at least you live. Yeah, at least you live. Yeah. Exactly. Counter it. And Mitra Storm definitely doesn't want to lose this round. The pressure will be immense if that happens. Yeah, absolutely. Oi! Right, on that one. Massive launch there for Storm. Yeah, he's found himself at the wall now, exactly where he didn't want to be. And this is a big threat right now. Oh, that was a really nice evasive crouch there. Gets the round. And all of a sudden, Mitra Storm is one round away from tying it up yeah. after, that, after that crazy deficit he started with. Now the German-Italian beef is starting. Why are you yeah, so he, silent? <laughs> I mean, it's the rivalry, man. Yeah, he is definitely... Mitra Storm is def looking to silence the German crowd here. Absolutely, man. And he's succeeding right now. He's 
doing good at that. Oh my goodness me. DBP unable to do anything right now. What's going on? He's got one more chance. And he spends it. He spends it on a hop kick that doesn't work out. And oh my goodness me, it is 2-2. It is 2-2. This is all or nothing, man. I can't believe it after that onslaught, after that stomp in the beginning. That 2-0 stomp when he was Nina. We are now at 2-2. And at this stage, we have to say that if he had started with Ling, we might have seen a different scenario right now. I'm seeing a different Mitra Storm as well. Mm. More confident, is, go is blocking more lows of DBP. Yeah. And DBP really needs to change something up now. Maybe do less Hell Swift and do more forward 4 twos. Yes, the yes. I think, I think the Hell Sweep punishes are starting to hurt him. Yeah. They're really, really starting to hurt him. Yeah. He can't afford any more of those getting blocked and punished. And the back to 2 as well. Kept, kept getting punished by all those back two twos all yeah. the time. So really need to stop doing that. <laughs> all right, now the crowd, the crowd really getting behind DPP right now. They want their boy to win. Here we go. And everyone is going insane right now. The Italians are going nuts. The Germans are going nuts. It's a free for all right now here at Berlin Tekken Clash. What a family we have. What a family. Oh, and Mitra Storm takes the first round. I can't believe it. For the first time in the whole set, he's winning. Yeah, he's leading in this whole set. He's actually leading the set right now. I can't believe this. Mitra Storm with a comeback from hell. He was down and out. He was done and dusted. And he's brought it all the way back here. He's even looking good for this round. Look at this. This is a completely different Mitra that we saw in the beginning. Exactly. So much better. Than wow, what is going on? on here. DVP looking helpless at the moment. And Mitra Storm. He's just looking lost right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. But wait a minute, this might not be over yet. This might not be over. DVP looking to come back here. What is happening? Oi! Oh, Race drive. DVP mixed up. Uh oh. Oh! And he was scared to commit by the wall, but it cost him dearly. He gave up a valuable opportunity to get a mix up. And now Mitra Storm is on set point right now. In the back. And the crowd going nuts. Oh no, and the low. The low gets blocked and punished again. DBP now on death door. Grim Reaper is knocking. He's doing that. Oh no, this is and not Mitra good. So ready for him. One more hit, it's gonna take it! And Mitra Storm, already out of his seat. The Italians are on stage, they are elated as their boy takes it three games in a row with Ling Zhao Yu. Takes the set three games to two. DBP started out strong, 2 0, but it all went crashing to the floor when Ling Zhao Yu came out. Of course, the crowd behind their boy, he didn't win, but they're still happy anyway. And uh, it's just a massive party here. I We've mean, got... he took so many big names out as well. Yeah, like... yeah. DVP, definitely a force here at this tournament. Yep. Such a solid player. He showed it here with his knowledge. He showed he's able to apply psychological game plans, really, yep. really high-level game plans. Yep. And, you know, it's really a shame that it lost, he lost in the way that he did after that 2-0 yep. lead. But, you know, yeah, Ling Zhaoyu, man. So well played by Ling Zhaoyu. The Ling really helped him out. I, yeah. was, I was really, I was really curious if it's gonna help him out. I was a little concerned because he did the same thing against Super Akuma, and, it didn't work. and in the end, it didn't work out at all. So I was a little concerned when I saw him swapping to Ling. But after the first game, he, as the set progressed with Ling, he kept doing better and better. He <coughs> applied his, got his head slowly into DVP, was hitting him with the mix-up, was constantly punishing the strings back to two. The um, the other high, I forgot what the notation is. Uh, with who? With with Bob, where he does that um, jumping punch. Oh. Um, he does that running kick into the jumping punch. The one I where he's know. always like, I don't know the notation, doesn't really matter. Okay. But he kept ducking the strings all the time. Mm. Had a perfect read on the health sweeps and just picked him apart slowly. Yeah. Really yeah. took his time to pick him apart. Side yeah, no, it was great. And yeah, yeah. I mean, at the end there, you know, it looked like BBP was stuck in his old ways. He yeah, kept, exactly. He kept trying to revert back to the lows. He kept trying to, he tre kept trying to re-establish yeah. that pressure that he gained in the first two Absolutely. games, and it didn't work out for yeah. him. And Mitra Storm was on it. He had downloaded that. He's like, that's not working. I'm going to block all your speeds. I'm going to crouch all your highs and punish it full, full charge while standing too. And yeah, it worked out for him. And you've got to wonder if you're Super Akuma watching that match, you've got to be happier with that outcome. Absolutely. What do you think? Do you think Super Akuma would have preferred to play DDP or do you think he was more pleased with the way it went down? I think he's more pleased with Mitra Storm in the Grand Finals because as I said yesterday, 
DVP and him had a crazy close set. I mean, so yeah, so this is going to be the test of a lifetime for Mitros because he, sh he didn't look good. And he's tried all three of his characters, so he's had a taste of what it's like in each of the matches. So now we're going to see what he goes with in the Absolutely. Grand Finals. And that's going to be very interesting to watch. Yeah. Yeah. Very or, we, or, or, or it's either that, or we're going to have the sickest combo exhibition you've ever seen <laughs> for three games. Either that, or yeah. we will see the crazy, unbelievable thing Mitra Storm taking it all back. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, either way. There's chances for that, man. We're in Grand Finals, Berlin Techno Clash 2018. I'm Mihawk, joined by my man, Mr. Reinhardt, yes. the legend. <laughs> and, dude, when, <laughs> I, saw you you, when I saw you, when I saw you, when I saw you, we're back, and yeah, we're almost half, or we're halfway through. We just need the, we just need the final game, and um, it's gonna be Super Akuma against. Uh, Against Mitra Storm, and we've had this match. We've had this match um, in the winners' finals, I believe. It was the winners' finals, right, Ryan? Yeah. Winners' exactly. finals. Winners' finals. Sorry, guys. Little bathroom break there. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back though. Um, so yeah, winners' finals has been played. Yeah. And it's just grand finals left, right? It's grand finals. Mitra left. Storm no coming match. from the losers' bracket versus yeah. Super Akuma, yeah. the unstoppable force here at Berlin Second Clash in the winners' bracket. Yeah. And it's gonna be a sick one. I'm really excited to see what's gonna happen. Um, well, we're gonna have Super Akuma versus Mitra Storm. Where's Super Akuma though? Mitra Storm seems ready. I don't know where Super Akuma is, but yeah, we're definitely gonna wait for him. So what's your what's your assumption? How do you feel about the match? I mean, oh, I, I, I just can't ignore what we saw in the winners' final. That I was can't crazy. ignore that. I felt and, like... You know, um, we saw Mitra Storm try three different characters. Nina did the best out of those three. Yeah. In, in, in that exchange, Nina did the best. Now, what we need to see from Storm is just a way to apply himself that stops Super Akuma just running all over him. Because that's what happens, you know, he just gets into his groove and once he's feeling himself, then he starts all the exhibition combos, all the fun stuff comes out, all the party tricks come, grab it out of the hat, like it's yeah. all there, you know? So, and I don't, want it, I don't want the set to get, once the set gets into Copperfield status, I'm telling you, man, Super Akuma's got this. Honestly, but yeah. Super Akuma, is playing for a spot, right? This is if he wins, this has got a he spot. He needs to win this. Well, if he comes second, he doesn't get it. I don't think so. He needs to go to Canada Cup if he doesn't win this. But even if Mitras wins this, Mitras doesn't get in, right? No, Mitras Storm doesn't get anything out of it. Only pride and money, obviously. Okay. Super Akuma, on the other hand, though, needs this win, and in order to go to Amsterdam, so it's all on the line. Are they good friends? I don't really know, man. <laughs> I'm just saying. Like, I, I don't think, know. I, I don't <laughs> think they're that close. Oh, okay, so. okay, okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Interesting. Um, yeah, that's true. That raises the stakes a little bit. Definitely. Um, so, yeah. All right. Because I thought, me, I thought um, Super Kuma just needed to get top three. No, no, no. He definitely oh, he has needs to, to win. win. Okay. In order okay. to get the points ah, to make it right. to Amsterdam. All right. So, what does the chat think? Uh, if we can get the chat up. Can we get the chat up? Funky, Mr. the chat. Funky, can we get the chat? So we're there just getting we the chat up. So we can talk to you guys as you talk to us as well. Um, so. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't know why. Uh, sorry, I don't know what character we're going to see. Because. I mean, all the three Ni characters. Nina, Nina did the best, but she didn't do like that That well. good. Yeah, exactly. But Ling won now. Ling won the, the set in the losers' final. So. You know, I, I think that uh, it might be... Because he's got momentum with Ling now. You know, he's got momentum with Ling. He, he definitely did really, really well mm -hmm. there, so... Yeah, so I'm, I'm super excited okay, to see what's going to Okay, we've got happen. a very interesting conversation going on on stage with Asim, Daniel Mado, uh, Super Akuma and Mitra. What? Okay. But yeah, so... I think Aston's like, you better beat him, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Make sure you get looking, he's like, you better win. <laughs> so this is cool, this is gonna be interesting. So what's gonna happen? Alright, yeah. Super Akuma like finally that. on stage. Yeah. So yeah, a lot of people want Super Akuma to win this, and a lot of people actually, even though Mitros can't qualify, they want Mitros to win this. Absolutely, man. So um, yeah, this is uh, gonna be it's gonna be a good one, guys, I'm excited. I want to see what Mitros has understood about his loss earlier. Has he worked yeah, he, out what he needs to change to get the win? I mean, the thing is, he didn't really have much time to breathe. Because mm. after he lost in the winner's final, yeah. he immediately oh, yeah, had, straight to play, in. He had to play DBB, DBB straight and he away. Was down 0 2. <laughs> so he had, to, he had all the time all the time that he had, he had to think about the matchup versus DBB yeah, in order yeah. to even make it to grand finals. And now that he's in grand finals, 
I mean, when did he have the time I'll, to actually? I was about? thinking actually when he played DBP, some of some of the some of the loss was part of the previous set. Exactly. You know, like yeah. it, it must have just been in his head as well. You know. Absolutely. So yeah, but no, nice. Nice stuff from Mitros, able to pick himself up mentally and get back yep. into the group here. Absolutely. And man. he's in a seat in Grand Finals. So we've got Super Akuma versus Mitros for the final deciding set. Grand Finals. And everything's on the line for Super Akuma. He mm. needs to win this. Yeah. There is no second place thing or anything. He oh, needs yeah. To, he needs to get that W, that yeah. victory. He needs to. So, man, we will see. Super Akuma getting on stage, getting his hitbox ready, his Kazuya hitbox. Yeah, I know. How did you feel? How did you feel when you couldn't do the electric? Well, I didn't. Well, to be honest, I didn't understand what was going on when I like, I came off the stage yeah, exactly. after the and then he and he was going up. I I, they, I thought they just wanted me to do the, the one challenge and that's it. So the thing is, um, it, it was okay. Like, but then but then I thought, oh, it's cool. Like he's gonna do something as well, and um, and he was very good on one player side. So I was a little. Were you scared? Bit, I was a little bit. Well, it's not about being scared because my I felt like my time wasn't that good actually. So he could. I thought someone can beat that, yeah, you right. know. Yeah. yeah. Um, but then on two player, I, I just think he hadn't practiced it on two player. Oh know. yeah, yeah. He couldn't I, do it at all. Yeah. So that I haven't was. Haven't seen that many electric either. From yeah. Honestly, so, when, he, when, he, when he got up on stage. But then, I felt but like then, that. but then, because of the way he kind of tried to steal the show, I was. I guess I was a bit happy there. Okay. Yeah. Because I, I didn't. That was a bit dirty from him. That was a little yeah, bit yeah, dirty. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. I was thinking that when he got up on stage, he was going to try to do super. Oh yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, something yeah, yeah like exactly. That. Show up somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's all it's all good fun, you know, yeah, whatever. Obviously. So yeah, no, it's nice. So. We're going to the game, Grand Finals, BTC 2018, Super Akuma versus Mitra Storm. Yes. Super Akuma in the winners bracket. Mitra Storm needs to win two sets of best of five to take this to be the champion of Berlin Tekken Clash. TWT let's, event. Let's go to the match. Super Akuma versus. Come on, the match is starting. Yes. yes. There we go. Transitions in. Let's go. The arena. Is our location for the first game here. Grand final, here we go. Alright, Super Akuma player two. He's playing with Ling, he's not even yeah. daring to yeah. try Nina. He's got momentum with Ling, Ling is good against Akuma, he just yeah. won with DBP, you know, like, I think Ling's the choice right now. Movement really nice so far. Alright, here we go. Oh, nice launcher there. Maximizing the opportunity, yes, down back one, good damage off that. Oh, goes for the sweep, but he tech rolls, what? Tatsu's out of there, that was actually a good... That was just really good to get, get away from the wall. Absolutely. Oh my goodness me. I've never seen this Onslaught combo, right now right? from Akuma. Uh oh. On the tackle. You can't hit a woman like that. Alright. Just ran into that. Got wow. in by it. Okay, so Super Akuma gets on the board with the first round. And he's starting to assert himself here more and more. Demon Flip mix ups are coming into play right now. We're only in the second round. Alright, Ling with the pressure. Super Akuma being super patient about it. Has a good amount of life lead, so he doesn't really need to go in here. Yeah, keeps pressuring Mitra Storm. Oh, man. Doesn't know what to do. <coughs> and I've noticed that slowly but surely he's taking away options from Mitra. Yeah. He's making him feel less and less confident about going in. And that's not good for him. Oh, look at that. And, there is and, a combo. and it's things like that will really take the wind out of your sails. Things like that where he just demon flips in at the right time. He hasn't done anything for like 10 yeah. seconds. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, he'll just make good on a demon flip. It's not a good feeling. And there's a combo. Also not a good feeling. The crowd are starting to wake up here. Super Akuma doing what he does best. Look at this. Oh man, this is just dominant. Oh, wait a yeah, second, it's exactly. not over yet. Oh, what? And another one? Just throwing the EX Demon out there. EX Dragon, excuse me. First match goes to Super. Yeah, that, that, looked, uh, that looked mad chill, man. Yeah. Um, Mitra Storm having words with Asim. I'm not sure what's going on. I think he's giving him some words of encouragement and advice right now. Uh, I think this is about characters, maybe. He's possibly saying, which character should I pick? Yeah, and um, I, we, we, we kept saying this over and over, but if Super Akuma actually wins this, he doesn't need to go to Canada Cup anymore, because he had this option and the other tournament left. If he wins this one, 
he can stay. He doesn't need to travel overseas. He can stay here in Europe, mm. be guaranteed in Am for Amsterdam, and mm. just make it. Right, right. Super is not looking really comfortable right now. So, so hits him with the one DP, demon flip pressure, and does the flip. And a down four, nice duck. Yes, indeed. And um, I mean, he's just not looking comfortable against Akuma in general, and yep. he's going to have to work out a strategy. He doesn't Absolutely. have much time to do it, Absolutely. but if he wants a chance here, he, he literally has to. And Mitro Storm, look at the life deficit. <coughs> And oh, that's man. it. One more mix-up. Yeah. And that's oh, it. Yeah. Solid. Solid victory there. Oh, and AOP goes under. All right. And here's the pressure again. Oh, hey, we got side switches. Yeah. We've got fancy combos. Nice jab. <laughs> Demon flipping yeah. everywhere right now. Jumping around like a monkey. One more mix up. Mm. Ready for that. Yes. And finally, Mitra Storm gets around. Oh my goodness. All right, gets the float there. All right, good damage off that. Side step four. And, oh, I was going to say, he's starting to apply himself a bit more, but Super Akuma, just when you think it's safe to come out. Yes, that tracking demon flip kick. Trying to go in. Oh, another float. Uh-oh, that's a flip kick. Oh, yes, finally floats him out of the demon flip. And I was saying he's going to have to do that if he wants a chance here. Yeah. Mitra Storm taking around. And the pressure. Mm. Oh, and that hurts, man. Look at that damage. Look, just look at that red life gone. And we're going in. Oh, <laughs> demon flips out of trouble. Yeah. It's such a good escape tool as well, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Jump over it. Multiple use demon flip there. Oh yes, we got street by combos. Jump kick, jab, dragon. And Super Akuma about to win the second round. If it goes well for him, otherwise, Mitra Storm is gonna tie this up. Who's gonna take this? Could Jumps go over again. Could go either way. Mitra Storm definitely wants a 1 1 scenario, not a 2 0 scenario. And he's just demon flipping everywhere. <laughs> Oi! Oi! What was that? Standing three seems like wow. a seems like a punish to that jump in. Oh, I didn't get the worst punish on that. And there's a float. Going in with the <laughs> what? Oh! oh. Hits him with the rage Caught him jumping back, but it didn't kill him though. Oh, but that did, and it is two zero to Super Akuma. Super Akuma with his eye on the prize right now. He is one game away from sealing his spot. Remember guys, if he wins this, he does not need to go to Canada Cup. He is good. He just needs this one game. Mitra Storm, his opponent in the way. One more set is all he needs. Yeah. One more game, one match. The only thing and that stands between Amsterdam. him and the Tekken World Tour Finals is Mitra Storm and one game. 2-0 right now. Asim again in the ear of Storm. I look at the stage, Ryan. Oh man, Hammerhead. It has and to it, happen. It wouldn't be a fitting end in the Grand Finals without the stage of Hammerhead. It just wouldn't be a fitting Grand Finals without exactly. the stage. All right, some last words of advice from Asim there. And here we go. 2-0 Super Akuma, one game away from being your Berlin Tekken Clash champion. But can Micha Strom put a spanner in the works? Right. With the low there. Yeah, Beautiful. fairly decent start, but now the demon flips are coming in. Good punish. And Super Akuma so patient. Oh, yes. 
So I step three gets him. Lose the ball? Yeah, I think so. Uh oh, Ooh, no. Doesn't get the kill though. Akuma, very deadly. Mix up. What is this? Oh no! Oh. Uh, Scary moment there for Mitra Storm. Demon flipping in. <laughs> the crowd uh, chant, sure you can. Standing three, yeah, like he's got that ready. Line. Yep, he gets that out. He gets him out of demon flip with that. Nice punish into the law. Oh, and Ling going in. Mitra Storm here. Has a huge life deficit. Definitely needs to do something. Can bring this back though. He has access to race drive if he wants it. Oh, oh no. Gets the flow. And that is it. Closes yeah. it out. Super. Oh man, I that wasn't that a good choice. He paid, he paid dearly with that. And Super Kuma with the combo. Oh, oh drops, drops it. Oh, yep. Me trust will be happy about that. Counter it while sending two. Here we go. We should go to the wall. Yes, we do. Not yet. Oh, and now he has him at the wall and almost has meter. That wall bar is slowly filling up. Nice low parry there. All right. Me trust not out of this just yet. Oh, and is that gonna hit? Oh man. Yeah, I... it's so weird with that. It, hit, it doesn't really hit. I mean, Akuma's airborne during the demon flip, so he can evade a lot of stuff. This is crazy. All right. This is actually yeah. Oh, unlucky. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Tournament point here tournament. for Super Akuma. Let's get hype. Is and he gonna straight in Amsterdam? This is where it counts. One more round is all he needs. He's going crazy right now. He wants it. He wants this badly. This is mine to Super Akuma. We trust Storm to get the combo. Uh oh. Yep. yep. This could be over right now, guys. Look at the combo. Super Akuma looking really good here. And he takes it. He's already out the chair before he finishes the combo. Super Akuma is your Berlin Tekken Clash 2018 champion. Qualifies for the Tekken World Tour Finals in Amsterdam. First and second of December. He is going to be there. And what a champion he has made here this weekend. Winner's bracket. No one stood a chance against him here this no weekend. The closest person was probably DBP. DBP yeah, yeah, I mean, apart from that, everyone just got washed. And he is your champion. Didn't even drop to the loser's bracket. Super Akuma. Hitbox all day, every day. And Such a crazy performance, man. was victorious, yeah. And as I say, man, he, he definitely had this vision of him going to Amsterdam. He got here with, with his only goal, I need to win. There's yeah. no second place, yeah. there's no third place, no fourth, no fifth. I need to be the winner of this. Yes. With that mindset going, he came here, bodied the people, mm. showed us how good of an Akuma player he actually is. Yeah. And yeah, finally succeeded. Yeah, really amazing stuff of him. I do like his confidence. I like the way that once he gets going, everyone just had so much trouble stopping him. They